Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and check everything's working. I think we are all good, so we're ready to go ahead and begin with some grounded guys. Now, um, currently I'm just going to check that everything's going to work okay on the stream, because I'm not too sure if everything's going to be alright, because I've had issues with the internet recently, so yeah, I've not been streaming in a while, just... And there we go guys, I'm back. Because of uh, insert issues and because my foot is clumsy and unplugged my headphones, uh, yeah, we have uh, we have these random issues going on. But yeah, we're going to try a uh, grounded game today guys and just see how the quality is. Hopefully everything's going to be okay and I'm not going to get too many dropouts. And if so, then maybe I can start doing some more uh, live streams again in the future because that would be really good. I've missed live streaming a lot, so I definitely want to do some if I can. But yeah, let's go ahead and see where we are. So, um, seems that everything is registering okay. So every now and then I'm just going to check in, just make sure it's all good and then hopefully everything will be fine. So, let's go ahead and hop into game if there's anything uh, that you guys would like to see or if things are like too quiet or too loud you know if you want volumes different just let me know because like I said it's been ages since I've done this so let's go ahead and get started so we're going to start on a uh, I think I don't know what difficulty we should go for we should probably just go for medium uh, just because whoa is like really super tough I mean, we could go well we're just gonna get destroyed though <laughs> yeah i think we'll go for medium uh, for this game i want to go ahead and see we got one of 14s to choose from so i played as max and i played as hoops in my most recent let's play on youtube the second episode of that went out today by the way so we've got willow or pete so i think this time we'll go for i'm not really a fan of these two characters but i think pete is overdone i think a lot of people play pete um because he's like the he's like the the boy scout kind of character not many people play willow so i guess we'll go for willow hey, i'm willow Willow Branch. Willow Branch. And yeah, the, na the, name, is, the name is what it says. All right, let's go ahead and get started and say hello and let's go. And hopefully everything's going to be fine. So yeah, like I said, I'll be checking in on this. Just make sure everything's going okay. And we'll go from there. Right, here we go. Alrighty. And we have spawned somewhere. But where? I don't know. Hmm. Cave Nightmare. My favorite. Yay. Well, what version is it? Endless cave, bottomless pit, and possibly claustrophobic passages. Hmm. I don't know, but there's a big hole and in... Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> Those are blades of grass! And this is us, in a little hole in the ground. Oh boy. Right, let me just go ahead and walk around a bit and just make sure the stream is registering everything okay. It looks like we're not getting too much pixelation on stream, which is actually really good. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So overall, everything seems great. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're outside, and we finally come out of our little cave, and would you look at that? There's a huge baseball right here. And that is our first point of interest discovered. So as we discover more of these, we'll actually unlock the natural explorer mutation, which is really, really good. So the first thing we need to do, guys, is go ahead and collect some resources and do all kinds of uh, do all kinds of stuff to get ready for the ensuing battles. So we're going to go ahead and collect all these little plants that we see in the ground here. We're going to try and find a, f a food source as well, because that's going to be very, very handy too. And yeah, hopefully... Um, not die too quickly because um, yeah we're gonna have to be facing a lot of enemies pretty soon so no pellets in the water here um might have to adjust my brightness settings a little bit it looks a little bit dark but that's okay uh, there's a couple of pellets over here let's go and grab those because we will be needing those we're going to analyze a load of stuff in a minute as well just to see what kind of stuff we can get um i think i hear an aphid somewhere and let's go and get some mushrooms because we're going to need those okay and where's the aphid there he is Okay, kill this guy. There you go, we got ourselves some food. There you go, let's see if I can find another one. Just so we have some here. Is he stuck in the grass? Yes, he is. Ha! There you go, and we got him as well. Yay, free food for me. And we got some more pebbles right there, which is going to be very handy for later. Okay, here's something very big um, coming that way, so I don't want to go that way. I wanna... Oh, there's an aphid over here as well. Can I get three? No. Oh, what's this? Is this aphid honeydew? Yes, it is. Aphid honeydew. Oh, it looks like we've already come into contact with some uh, some insects here. Let's go ahead and smash this mate up with a um, with a thingy here. Smash him up with a rock, and there we go. So that's one mate down. Oh yeah, this is actually the mite caves that you have to come to later. Um, let's go and just, just go and kill this guy without getting damaged too much. There we go. Kill that guy. Yeah, currently I don't have a weapon, so it's going to be a little bit difficult. Yeah, I I forgot how close the mites can actually spawn to you. Um, it's quite insane actually how qu how close they can spawn. Uh, right, let's get some. Of these things from over here. I think another one's coming my way as well. So guys, we're, we're in the game for like less than five minutes. We're already fighting insects. So yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, oh, there's actually some water here. Some dew. We can go ahead and slurp that. That'll help me a lot, uh, out a little bit. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else I can collect over here. Um, so if I come up this way, we should find a couple of other things around as well. There's some more aphids. I need to get some sprigs and plant fibers. Those are the first few things that I need to go and collect. So let's go ahead and get as many of these things as we can, and we should go from there. The other thing I want to check real quick is that my Twitch chat is working, and that we actually... Yep, everything seems to be working. Okay, there we go. So yeah, everything is looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and drop down here then. Get some more pebbles from over here. And okay, we can we can slurp that if we want to. We don't want to uh, don't want to slurp the dirty water. It's actually very very bad for you. It will actually lower your hunger, which is very bad. So we've got a mysterious signal that we have to go ahead and investigate, which I will be doing soon. Before we do anything like that, though, we are going to go and make our way over here. And I'm going to take the tree sap from here. There should be four pieces on here, and that's going to be very useful for making the workbench and a couple of other things later on. So let's go and get all the stuff we need here. The last one should be down here. There's nothing up top of the baseball as far as I'm aware, so we don't need to go all the way up there. But might be able to get a good look at our surroundings if we do got there. Okay, there we go. So we've got a fair few things here. Let's go ahead and keep going. So we've got some more plant fibers over here. So let's go and grab those. Uh, some more pebbles right here. So we're going to need a few pebbles to get started. So we're just going to collect as many of those as we can. Let's go around the baseball just to check there's nothing else around here. There's one right there and there's one right there. So loads of, loads of plant fibers which within uh, very easy reach, which is very nice. Okay, and this guy's right here is a giant boot print. There's that you can see the back of the boot there, and then the front of the boot here. So yeah, this is a, this isn't actually a, a lake in the ground. It is a boot. It's a footprint, which is really cool. So yeah, just to kind of give you the idea of how small we really are. <laughs> yeah, we're tiny. So yeah, that, that that's a human foot, and this is us. So yeah, as you can see, we're we're pretty titchy right now, like very very titchy. But that's fine. That's fine. We can we can make this work, right? Right. You guys are like no, you're gonna die. You're already gonna die. You're gonna get eaten by a spider. First thing that's gonna happen. So yeah, what's the? I wonder what the prediction for the first death in this is gonna be, guys. We're we gonna get eaten by a spider, or are we gonna get um, we're we gonna get mauled by some ants or something? I really don't know, but I'm sure we're gonna find out at some point. Um, okay, let's go ahead and make our way down here, and we're just gonna make our way over here. So um, let's see. So. We have a uh, standing wolf. Welcome to the welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing? Says Ali Max. How you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. How you doing, dude? Thank you so much for popping in. It's been so long since I've been live streaming. Um, could you let me know like how everything is looking? Uh, is everything like clear and you know not completely dying on me? <laughs> Hopefully it is. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the stream, dude. It's been it's been a while since I've been doing this just because of so many internet issues. Um, I finally managed to figure out a way to kind of speed things up though, because um, literally it was like my upload speed was like less than one one megabyte uh, or less than one megabit per second upload speed which is really terrible like for streaming you need like three or four so i was just like okay uh, i gotta do something and it turns out that my um my little wi-fi thing in the back of my pc had come loose so th there's me thinking i've been having like internet trouble for ages and nothing's working and i was just like i'll just take it out and put it back in again seems to have solved it which is good um yep and uh, so will said i'm good and looks good excellent i'm glad everything looks good so let's go ahead and come in here so welcome uh, and we just you just caught me at the start of ground and we're getting some basic resources and let's see what we can do here so i've, I've already caught a couple of mites already <laughs> i literally turned around and went the wrong way and there was mites over there so i was just like okay well let's let's smack smash their face to the rock uh oh wait and now, and now a gnat is here hang on i wonder if i can throw a, a rock at this guy oh i nearly got him hang on I, I want to see if i can kill this guy by throwing a rock at him hang on he's, he's over there there you go did i get him no Oh, I just missed him. But yeah, you can, you can throw rocks at these guys to kill them if you want to i probably need to keep these guys i'll probably wait for them to come over my way here yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. He's uh, th these guys are really hard to predict where they're gonna go. Oh, I got him. There we go. I I I got it once. Okay, I gotta I gotta hit him with two rocks. It seems. Man, this is hilarious. Um, where'd he go? Oh, the, the, he's he's flown away. Yeah, he he know he knows I'm annoyed by him now. He's like, nope, no, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> the that the that doesn't like me. Okay, there's another mate over here. Let's go ahead and just uh, smash this guy up here as well because he's uh, feasting on a gnat right here. There's a gnat corpse right here. Let's go and grab this guy, and that's gonna give me a gnat fuzz as well. No no meat out of this guy, but a gnat fuzz is okay. Okay, so let's go over here real quick. Uh, there's a workaround right there. So I don't want to engage with this guy because he will quite quickly kill me. Uh, but I think I got four gnat fuzz out of that, which means I can make a sprig bow straight away, which is actually really good. So I definitely want to do that at some point, because if we can get arrows at the beginning of the game, that's going to be really, really handy. I can uh, snipe things from further away that way. Okay, let's uh, let's just ignore the gnat, then he seems to have gone away. Let's analyze some stuff. So yeah, we've got, oh no, we've got one gnat fuzz and four mite fuzz. So yeah, I need to kill a few gnats. Let's go ahead and analyze some stuff then. So we're going to look at the sprig first. That unlocks for us the spiky sprig and the trail marker. Trail marker we definitely want to get a lid of. Uh, the pebblet. Let's go ahead and grab this one. This guy is going to give us the pebble axe. Very, very nice. And I guess we should probably do the tree sap or the plant fiber. Uh, let's do the plant fiber. We'll analyze that thing. 
And that is going to give us the access to crude ropes, which is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead then and craft our basic tools. So we're going to go craft, and then we want to go to, let's see, tools here. So we need a pebble axe, so let's go make, we need a crude rope for that. Uh, I want a spear, so we're going to need one of those. And then the hammer, we're going to need another crude rope for that. Done. Excellent. So now we've got to go ahead and craft ourselves a load of nice little tools to get started. Uh, Sally also, Sally, my upload can't be fixed that easy. It's my wires in the building. They're from the 50s. Oh, man. Oh, that, that, was, that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, really old wiring then just kind of screwing you over there. Yeah, it's not good. Like, I we, we have an old router, so it's kind of it's kind of that problem as well. Um, so, yeah, but it's, you know, the, I guess the router is much easier to replace than wires and things like that. So, yeah, there's, there is there is that. But, yeah, we're having... Uh, we're, we're, we've been having like internet issues. There's, there's sometimes where it just goes like stupidly slow, and it's like it's not cool. <laughs> okay, let's get some dry grass because I want to go ahead and make a torch soon with that. Um, and I think that just requires some sap and some more sprigs, which thankfully we have some here. Um, the other thing I want to go ahead and get is a load of clover because we're going to need that for the clover armor, which I want to get pretty quickly. Okay, so we've got a couple of other quests, which is to find food and drink. I managed to pick up some mushrooms here, so let's go ahead and eat some of this stuff to fill up on hunger here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. And there we go, we're full now. Excellent, and we need a little bit more food, but there we go. Right, where's this? I, I hear a gnat again, where is he? Where is he? He's, he's around here somewhere. Yeah, the, the gnats are really annoying, because they, they literally just keep coming in and just like, they don't hurt you, they're, they're just annoying. <laughs> they just keep like, bumping into you. Okay, let's go ahead and knock some clover down, because we're going to need a lot of this. And there we go. Um, right, here we go. There he is. Stupid, stupid gnat. Gotcha. There we go. Excellent, and that gave me another nat fuzz and some raw nat meat. So we have we have food to cook now, which is awesome. So I'm definitely going to have to get a roasting spit on the go at some point as well, which will help me uh, cook up all these bugs that I'm getting. Okay, so let's get a load of these guys, and then we should have plenty of clover to go from there. So it says, yeah, I'm, I'm lucky if I get two megabytes upload. Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad, I know. Yeah, it's, it always sucks as well, because it's just like, you know that you're like, you really want to stream, you really want to do something, and it's like, currently I've literally just been only able to make YouTube videos and literally having to wait a whole day for like one video to upload, which is why I've been, you know, uploading so slowly. But yeah, there's, um, there is that, which is kind of a shame. Uh, oh, look, we discovered the mysterious machine, which is over there. And I think my piece of clover just fell through the floor. You bugger. I hear another gnat around here as well. So let's go ahead and get some of these out of the way. I'm going to need a load of clover as well to make some storage. So I definitely want to do that. Okay. There's this other gnat. He's flying around here. Oh, there's some more dry grass. I will need that. Let's go and grab this. So we're going to grab that lot, and there's one piece there, and there's two, three, very nice, and another fiber right there. And yeah, I need to, I need to get like all the, all the things I can get right now. Like literally, it's like first episode. It's gonna be take all the things, <laughs> like all the things. So let's get some dry grass from there as well. Just chop this up. Stupid, stupid net. Where are you? There you are. Come here. Gotcha. Haha. You're not getting away from me this time. Where, where'd your, where'd your corpse go though? I hate that. The, the corpse is like roll away, and then I can never find it again. Dang it, I lost, I lost the net corpse. Okay, hang on. There's an Avid up here. Hey! Oh! Okay, he's, he's, he's on the run. He knows he's been hunted. Boom! Got him. There you go. Aphid's down. Okay. That's one Aphid. I want to collect a load of these anyway to, for, to let some of the meat spoil. Oh, look! Dancing Aphids! Here we go. It's the dance of the Aphids. Dance of the Aphids. Boom! Boom! There you go. That's how you win the dance of the aphids, guys. You uh, you just smack them after a while, and that's it. But yeah, this um, this meat will slowly, slowly but surely spoil. So I want some of it to spoil, so I can make mushroom gardens out of it later. So I'm gonna definitely keep some of that with me as we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get a little more stuff around here. I'm gonna need a load of plant fibers to crude root, and there's actually some more sap right here that we can grab. So there's one right there. I think there's some on the other side of this branch as well. I think there's like three or four bits we can get over here. Which is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and go this way. And there we go. And I think I just got a, I got a, an overlay notification thingy and I totally missed it, which is kind of sucky. Oh, TS Storm is now hosting. Hey, hello, TS. Thank you so much for the host, dude. Very much, uh, very much appreciated, dude. He's like, he's like, holy shit, you're streaming. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually streaming. My, my internet is actually able to support something. Uh, more than just like a stuttery one frame per second thing so yeah i'm actually able to stream at least for now i don't know how long this this good fortune is going to last but yeah, hopefully it's gonna last a little while i don't know i don't know, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't, I don't know at this point i really don't know at this point so uh, yeah let's, let's hope for the best shall we how you doing ts thank you so much for coming along dude um it says like now the test says i'm getting 0.9 upload oh well 
Uh, so, and so, hello, T.S. Storm, how you been? Uh, T.S. says, about time, been a long time. I know, yeah, it's been a very long time. Yeah, I've, I've missed streaming. I really have. So, yeah, I'm glad that I can actually be starting some again. Because, um, yeah, it's been, it's, it's been difficult. <laughs> let's, let's just say, uh, yeah, it's, it's been difficult not being able to stream. It's been qu quite depressing. Because, um, you know, making videos is great. I love making videos, but I just miss the streaming side of things. You know what I mean? It's like, wh when you make videos, you kind of like, it's, it's fine but you don't really have any contact with people while you're doing it kind of thing. So it's kind of, it's kind of just like nice to talk to people, you know, and I, I, I miss that. So yeah, streaming is a, a really good thing over over making videos. So yeah, I much prefer it. Of course, I'll still make videos too, but yeah, streaming is definitely something that, you know, I've missed doing and I really want to do still. Anyway, enough of my blabbing. Let's go ahead and get some more stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and get all these mushrooms because I will need to go ahead and eat these guys. Um, so yeah, I'm sure I'm sure TS is gonna enjoy get me get me getting getting crushed by a bull spider. <laughs> I took like five six months off from from, uh, from streaming and got got a job in Metal Lady. Oh no, yeah yeah, dude, I heard of your I heard of your lady. Uh, well, I I I have I don't know who she is, but I, I heard you have Metal Lady. So congratulations, dude, and good job on the new job as well. What are you um what are you doing now, dude? Are you doing stuff anything to do with cars? Because I know you know because <laughs> like every time I talk to you, you're like you're always on about cars. So you know, did you find something to do with cars or anything, or are you doing like something else? Don't don't tell me TS has got an office job <laughs> and uh leah chiva welcome to the stream how you doing thank you so much for popping in um okay let's go over this way and let's go ahead and analyze some things because we got we got things guys and th things are good right you guys are like no no things are bad max you're stupid things are bad just, just shut up <laughs> um so i did i deliver winter oh, says um i own a volvo v70 estate now too oh nice that's awesome all right so with that we got the clover poncho and clover hood and all these grass structures as well which is really nice so we should be able to start making some stuff with that let's analyze the tree sap we're definitely gonna want that as well uh which child booster seats built in <laughs> oh they actually they actually has the booster seats built in the in the vehicle that's hilarious <laughs> okay so that's given us access to sconces and i guess we'll analyze the dry grass because i think that'll give me access to the torch as well and i definitely want to craft that soon as well okay so that gives me oh no we already had the access to the torch ready okay cool so let's go ahead and craft a few more things then and let's get going because we only um we only have three scans before it runs out so i need to go into tools and then hopefully we can get a torch i just need to get two fiber rope there and a torch is coming. There we go. Done. There we go. And, and the, the girlfriend goes to me, where's the kid to you then? Says TS. <laughs> and, and TS says, uh, I don't know, you tell me. The look on her face, priceless. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Oh, man. Yeah, I bet I bet that went down well. <laughs> okay, so yeah, now we have a torch, which is really good. We're definitely going to need one of these. Um, oh, okay, the other thing I should probably do is cook up some of this food I've got, right? So let's go ahead and just build... Well, actually, before I do anything, I kind of want to find a quick area to actually build in. Um, I could build my base on top of the baseball um, and have a have a base up there. Uh, there's an ant over here. Oh, is there a weaver around here? Oh, this guy's stuck in the ground. This, guy, this guy's got no chance. He got himself stuck. Is this ant going to kill him or, or what? Come on, Ant, do it. No, the Ant can't get to him, so I'll make the job easier for you. There, there you go, Mr. Ant. There you go. And, oh, you taking the Weevil? No, 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 no. I want the Weevil nose. No, come, come back. Come back. Oh, okay, I don't I don't want to fight this guy because he will actually wreck me right now. <laughs> okay, oh, there's the mint box right here. Um, so when we get a better hammer, we can actually open this and then make the best weapon in the game, which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, other than that, nothing we can do. So yeah, I need to find a good place to build. Um, Tia says, not really. I even told her as she's private, she could use the booster seats. It was that day I found out she's she's done boxing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet, I bet you got a wallop, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, yeah, that's, that's, all, <laughs> that's, that's priceless. <laughs> Okay, um, so yeah, let's go ahead then. Um, so yeah, we got the mint box over there. Um, yeah, I need to find a good area to build on, um, and I want to go ahead and do that. But before I do that, I should probably get started with the, some of the main quest line as well, just so we can unlock some of the um, the raw science, and then we can get like the the foundations and things like that, which is going to be very useful. So we have to we have to investigate this mysterious machine, right? So the first thing we got to do is we got to press the target button. We're going to press this thing, and oh, look, we turn on some lasers. So that one's fine. Uh, that one's a bit that one's a bit iffy, so we gotta see what's going on with that one. And that one's being blocked by some stupid grass. So let's get rid of uh, said stupid grass. Let's let's go and do that. So we're gonna chop this thing out right here. 
And here it says, with someone with tiny hands, they can hurt. Dude, someone with tiny hands will hurt more than someone with bigger hands because there's more there's more um, pressure behind a smaller punch. You know, pre- pre- pressure is force over area. You decrease the area with, with the same force applied, more pressure is going to hurt more. <laughs> so, yeah, s- s- simple, phys- simple physics for you, dude. Yeah, it's going to hurt more. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think TS learned his lesson. <laughs> Uh, right, right on the chin. Oh yeah, I bet. Okay, so that solved the issue with the first laser, but we had to solve the issue with the other laser. And the issue with the other laser is it's uh, well, it's kind of a bit temperamental, right? So we've got to go and see what is going on with that. Um, I do have a little bit of room left, but not too much. So I probably want to make some kind of storage real quick, um, just to put some stuff in. So I'll probably put a barrel up here just so we can kind of have it here. So let's see, storage barrel. Can I put it on this thing? Really? I can't build it on the machine. Can I build it inside the machine? No. Fine. Fine, I'll just put a little I'll put a little storage thing just right right down here then. Just to, just to put something in real quick. So we're gonna build that and then we need to craft three more crude ropes. So it's gonna do that. So right now it's gonna take a lot of plant fiber to make crude rope, but after a while it'll be better. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the clover in there, the mite fuzz, the sap. I don't think I need any more of that. Um, and then extra plant fibers, pebbles. I don't want to put the food in there though, because otherwise ants will come and raid it, and then that's that's bad. So yeah, I don't uh, don't really want to be doing that. Um, okay, let's see. I need to put the fiber in there. That's net fuzz. Yeah, I can put my net fuzz in there. And uh, that sounds so wrong. Yeah, I can, I can just you know I can put my net fuzz in the in the, in the box. <laughs> that sounds so weird, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Um, Tia says, uh, yeah, and I found out the hard way. <laughs> so I'm guessing uh, the game dev watched Honey, I Shrink the Kids. I thought I'll make a game out of it. it kind of, yeah, kind of. Uh, but yeah, you, you you battle like all kinds of bugs and insects in this thing, and it's, it's epic. Okay, so next thing we've got to do is go ahead and figure out what's wrong with this third laser beam over here. So we have to pretty much like look where it is and kind of follow where it's going. So it's over this way, and there's another aphid around here, but I'm not too worried about him. Let's keep picking up more resources on the way as well, because I will definitely need them as we go. Um, but yeah, I already killed myself a fair few mites here already, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, we don't want to go in the dry grass because over there is like bombardier beetles, and they can literally one-shot me at this point. So yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go that way. Uh, we're gonna go down this way towards this little pond over here. And then if we turn this way, I'm gonna equip my spear because we're probably gonna need that. Okay. So I hear some zapping noises, and the problem with the cables is there are mites chewing on them. Hey, look at this guy. He's like chewing through the cable. So let's uh. Go ahead and just kill this guy, and we'll collect all the mite fuzz because we're going to need it. There's another one up here. Thank you very much. Yeah, the the, the mites chewing the cables, you can kill them in one shot, but the other mites take like two or three. So the the, the actual ones that are going to come after you and try and kill you take a few more. Okay, so let's go down here. There's another one there. And it looks like this cable goes all the way down underground. So we're going to have to this way I made the torch. We're going to put on our torch. Let's eat a little bit and put on the torch, and here we go. Um, and Sally Wolf says, uh, yeah, I found out out the hard way. I put the, the spore meat in one, and when I got back that night, I had like 15 worker ants stuck to the basket. Yeah, I know, right? They, they, just, they just come along and raid it. It's, uh, it's, it's quite crazy. Okay, so there's another mite over here. Okay, oh, totally, totally missed that stab, but there we go. There we go. Get some mite from him. And then there's a couple of mites over here, I think. Are any stuck under the ground? Yeah, there's one stuck under this rock. So I'll, I'll stab him through the rock. Yeah, seems to be an issue with 0.3. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, stuck bugs that kind of like jump out from the dirt at you, so it can be sometimes hard to see. Oh, here is him. Okay, where's this other one gone? Oh, there he is. Okay, kill this guy. Ha! You're stuck, and and so are you. There you go. Got him. So lots of mite fuzz from there. All right, now you can come on this way. And then let's go and kill you, and kill you. So yeah, right now the bugs are easy to kill. Trust me. They get a lot harder. But there we go, we figured out the issue with that. The next thing I want to do is smash these up, because we want to come back here later as well. Tia says, water! Yeah, we'll get some soon. Don't worry, I have a I have a plan for water. And there's a, a very easy place we can actually get some in just a sec. So let's go ahead and grab all this stuff here. Grab some quartzite. I want to just open this route out here. Uh, I don't want to take all the quartzite, but yeah, I want to come over here because there's actually a uh, thing we can grab somewhere around here. This thing. This is a scabby, and this is something that can adjust the UI of your of your overlay. Um, so if you if you don't like the, the UI, you can actually find these uh, little scabbies in the world, and they can be used to change the UI. I can also pick some of these up as well if I wanted to make uh, lanterns and stuff out of those. Uh, but for right now, I think we're good. You can also be torches out of them, but they're, they're, they're like crap, so you don't want to do that. Uh, the other thing I should probably do is set up some trail markers for some of these places soon. But for right now, I'm not venturing too far. 
So yeah, let's go find water. We should be able to find water relatively easily. Oh, there's another mate somewhere. Hello. Come here. Got him. Ha! Another dead mate for me. Good, good. That's 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 what we like at Maxbox Gaming Studios. Dead mates. TSS, be right back. All right, dude. See you soon. Uh, let's grab this and let's keep going pebbles and keep going in this way and go along here. Okay, so if any of the mushrooms have grown, yeah, there's some more over here. Let's go and grab some of these. So yeah, mushrooms regrow a lot slower in this update, so you have to be a little bit careful with your mushroom consumption. But it seems we're finding a lot, so that's always good. Okay, so we got that mushroom there, and then this is going to take us back to the analyzer, which is perfect because I can analyze some more stuff now, which is awesome. Uh, right, let's go back this way and analyze a few more things. So what can I analyze today? I have... Okay, let's analyze the quartzite. That's a good one to analyze. This is what's used to repair your tools. And that's used for a dew collector, which is our solution to water. Um, we can analyze mite fuzz. Which is going to be um, for armor glue, which is how you repair armor. And then we can analyze these aphids here. And this is going to give us access to the aphid slippers. And literally, aphid slippers is literally you, you stuff some aphids with mite fuzz and you put their dead carcasses on your feet and you get aphid slippers. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. Okay, let's go back to this uh, mysterious machine then. And now everything should be working as intended, right? So let's go ahead and uh, come over here. And let's go ahead and just store some extra stuff. Yep, my water's getting low, but that's fine. We will deal with that momentarily. Store some extra things here. Uh, the mushrooms I don't want to put in, but the pebblets and those I can just put in here. There you go, keep everything stacking. All right, so we'll jump up here. And look, the target button has, uh, the activate button has been uh, done. So let's go ahead and push this and see what happens. All right. And now we employ the power of the growth ray to increase the fox back to normal size. Engaging lasers, and here we go. And hopefully now this is going to put me back to a good size. Oh, no, no, one went wrong. No, okay, that's going to happen. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, we just blew up the oak tree. Uh oh, that was there. Uh, that was not intended. Uh, oops. Okay. So, 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 okay, uh, we have problem. Something went wrong. Okay, so now we have to investigate the explosion at the oak tree. Now, before we do that, there's a couple of things now that spawn in the world. Now we triggered that explosion, there is um, objects in the world now called raw science that spawn in certain locations. One of them, uh, I believe, happens to be in this little pond of water right there. See a little purple thing down there? That's raw science. Let's go ahead and get it. Because this is awesome. This will give you... Um, this is essentially um, like skill points. You spend them to upgrade stuff, which is really good. Now, I do need to find a source of water. Which is actually very easy. It's actually for the first one, it will actually point it out to you, which is very nice. So I can come up here and uh, what blade of grass that link to this guy right here, I guess. There you go. And let's go ahead and drink That's that. So Excellent. So we got our water source, but there is an, another source of water over here. So if we come over here, there's a juice box right here. We got the Tropicop Puncho. And look, we actually unlocked a mutation, which is the Natural Explorer one. I definitely want to equip this. Uh, so if we go status, uh, this guy right here, Natural Explorer. With each landmark found, you get a better understanding of the lay of the land. Your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand. Essentially, this lets you run faster, which is really good. So yeah, now I'm moving like, I think it's like 2%, 5%, 10% extra speed. Um, I can also drink those juice drops right here that spawn from the uh, from the juice. Every now and then, one will actually um, spawn from the straw, and then you can pretty much go ahead and slurp them up. And look, there's another one right there. I'll save that one for the morning though, because we're probably gonna wanna we're probably gonna want to keep that. So yeah, for now. We need a way to pass the night as well because right now we are we are gonna we are gonna get attacked if we stay out too late at night and it's getting dark so we need to pretty much make a little shelter and sleep through the night. So I could build a base but I don't really want to build a base right now. I want to go ahead and pretty much like start as quickly as possible with all the things I'm gonna need and then we can work on the we can work on the base next day. Um, so we're gonna need a couple of these and some clover I think and then we can build a lean to. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go B for build and then grab this which is a lean to and I guess I'll just put it right here because it's just about hitting nighttime right now. So yeah before the wolf spiders come out hunting let's go and build this and set my spawn. There you go, and then we're going to sleep. Anyone else tired? Excellent. We okay. survived our first day. We survived our first day, guys. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead then and see what we need to do. So now that we've gone through the night, I'm hungry and thirsty again, which is why I wanted to save the here, drops. So let's go ahead and uh, eat some mushrooms. There you go. We'll just do that. Eat as many mushrooms as we can. And I'm guessing some of our meat might have started to spill now. Almost, yeah. We got we got some spoiled meat coming up soon. 
Okay, I want to put a couple of other things away as well that I don't really want. So I have yeah these clover leaves I can just put away here. Don't want to don't want to keep those. We're gonna go straight to the oak tree. As you know, before we go to the oak tree, we're gonna go back to where those caves were. Now there's one particular reason why, because we can actually find some raw science in those caves now that we've gone ahead and uh, triggered the uh, laser explosion. So if we come back to this laser beam over here, we take a little bit of a shortcut just by jumping over here. There might be some more mites around here, so we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. I'm going to come down here. Don't think anyone might showed up. That's good. Okay, let's go over here. And we're going to go and make our way straight down here. And we're going to go back to where we were before. I'll get some water soon, but that's fine. We'll be able to get that soon. We're going to go back down here. Now, this is why I opened this area up earlier, because then you come back through here. And then, if you come back through here, there is now a big glowing globule of 500 raw science. Look at that, so very easy to find that one. Um, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's actually not so easy because no one ever thinks to come back there, but there is raw science there, which is awesome. So let's come back this way, and let's get out of here and go from there. Okay, excellent, so that's all done. Let's go ahead and make our way back up this way, and there we go. Crip Girl, welcome to the stream, says, Hey Max, you're finally streaming again. Yes, um, well, I managed to figure out what was wrong with my, uh, my internet. Um, I have a Wi-Fi dongle in the back of my PC, right? Guess what? It was it was like half unplugged. <laughs> I was like I was like, why is my upload so slow? And then I was like, okay, I've really got to investigate this. So I was like, right, I'm gonna troubleshoot the problem, and I'm gonna go through every possible thing that could go wrong. And so I did. And the first thing I came to was, oh, hang on, this dongle, this this, this isn't right. And so I pushed it in, and uh, well, I, no, I unplugged it and plugged it back in, and uh, lo and behold, it works. And I was like, oh. Now I feel silly. <laughs> I've not been streaming for three months because I thought my internet was crappy. <laughs> and really, it was my own stupid brain and probably stupid body that kicked the thing out. But yeah, um, we are so far having good luck with streaming today. So hopefully, if this continues, I'll be back to streaming. So yeah. So how are you doing, Grip Girl, by the way? Thank you so much for popping in and uh, coming to check out some Grounded. Um, have you played Grounded before or is this, uh, is this a new thing for you? I've, I've played it a lot now and I'm loving the game. Like... This game gives me the same feels as Seven Days did when I first played it, and uh, yeah, it's not as popular as me playing Seven Days. Most people are just like, please play Seven Days. <laughs> but yeah, I love Grounded a lot, so I definitely want to showcase some of this um, as we go, because yeah, I'm loving the game like a ton. But yeah, if you haven't played it, I definitely recommend giving it a go. It's, it's so good. Okay, let's get a couple of little bits here, and then let's run back to the Mysterious Machine and I'll lean to, and we'll go from there. Uh, and Craig Girl says, I haven't played it. You should. It's really good. I definitely recommend giving it a try. Tia says, uh, I'm, Tia says, I'm bored of Seven Days. I wouldn't say I'm bored of Seven Days, but I think, I don't know, I find A19 has kind of leveled things out in too much of a linear way. I still enjoy it, but yeah, I kind of had to play it in a bit more moderation these days. Okay, so let's go and set up a trail marker right here. Because this trail marker is going to allow me to find my way home if I get lost. Uh, it's definitely definitely recommended having one of those. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to say right here is my lean-to. And we can mark that with this little flag here. And that's, yeah, we can say that's where the mysterious machine is. And I'll mark that in white. Cool. So now when I move a little bit further away, look, it'll actually show me, hey, your your thing is this many centimeters away. Yeah, we're actually traveling in centimeters. This is uh, this is the thing. Um, yeah, crew though, I definitely recommend you you actually give it a go. It's really really good. Um, like I said, this they're still in very early access to de development and stuff, but it's 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 worth it. It's worth a go. Okay, there's a couple of grass planks over here. We're gonna just move these over. Uh, I'll probably end up using those later for a workbench or something. Let's go and put those down there. All right, let's go back to where the Tropicot Puncho was, and we're going to go and drink some stuff, and then we're going to go to the oak tree, and we are going to want to collect a ton of resources around the oak tree. Like, there's a lot of things I need to get, so let's not waste any time, because I want to I want to upgrade to something that's better than no armor. Now, I could get the clover armor, that's what I was initially going to do, but I think we're just going to go ahead and go straight for the acorn armor, uh, or the grub armor, one of those two. Um, probably the acorn armor, because it gives you more health, um, and it's much better. So let's go ahead and drink from here. Big old juice drop right here. This is the size of a drop. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. So let's slurp some puncho. There you go. That'll get me fully hydrated. Excellent. Now these drops also, I want to put a, um, a liquid a liquid collector underneath these things because you can actually catch them. Oh look, there's some raw science up there. See, there's the, the, it's floating up there. So we're gonna we're gonna try and make our way up there and try and get it. Uh, okay, so if we come up here. Uh, okay, then I jump on this one. Okay, we're gonna have to do. So okay, this requires a bit of platforming. Um, so where do I go from here? I got. I got to get to a higher point. So let's see. The next one is like over this one. 
Oh, I fell off. Okay, yeah, we got th this is actually quite tricky. Th this one, I have done it before without having to build my way up to it, but it's it's quite tricky. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a very it's very tricky. It's only 100 raw science as well, but I definitely need this to progress, so I definitely want to try and get it. So we're going to go here, then here, then here. Oh, there we go, there we go, and then here. Oh, no, I oh, went too far. Okay, hang on, go back, then here. Okay, here we go. Then got it, yes! There you go, 100 raw science right there. So yeah, you can actually platform on the grass, which is really cool. Okay, let's come down here, and then I need to try and get down without falling. Okay, there we go. Awesome, so 100 more raw science. There we go. Uh, is your character uh, shrunk or something? Yes. In Grounded, you are shrunk to the size of... Well, let, let me let me give you some perspective, right? So, that's a ladybug. See that? That That is a ladybug. <laughs> so yeah, we are we are this size. Now, I don't want to fight Ladybug right now. They're, they're passive until you attack them, but they hit like trucks and I don't want to fight them right now. <laughs> I need like I need like some better armor, um, some smoothies and stuff to, to get fighting those guys. Okay, so we're going to move on and we're going to try and investigate what's going on with the oak tree because the sooner I can unlock the raw science stuff um, and the foundations, the sooner I can build a base um, which can actually, you know, not suck because <laughs> currently like the bases I can build right now will suck. Um, because you can't build like floors or anything until you unlock it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that pretty quickly. Because oh, look, that's the size of an ant. That's a worker ant. So we're slightly bigger than a worker ant. That's how small we are. <laughs> um, and so anyone says, uh, hello, good girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go up and come over here. But yeah, we are shrunk to a very, very tiny size. Like, super tiny. So yeah, we discovered the abandoned ant hill. So we can go down here if we want, but. Right now, I don't want to go in the anthill because, yeah, there are soldier ants in there, and they will proceed to rip my face off. However, I do want to come here for these acorns. These acorns are really handy because they actually give you acorn tops, which is going to be used for something very important later. Um, they also give you access to the acorn shovel, which I'll unlock soon. Um, and they also give you acorn bits, which you can use as a really good food source. Like, acorn bits actually fill you up, like, three times as much as a mushroom does which is really good. They also give you access to these, the acorn shells, and that's what you use to make the armor. I think for the armor I need six acorn shells, but I want to collect a good amount of these. Like, I don't I don't just want six, I think I want about 20 of them. Um, because yeah, we're gonna, need, we're gonna need a ton. Now there is more raw science around here as well. Um, to get to that raw science, we're gonna come over here. Let's go and harvest these acorns and we're gonna get some more. Now Kruger says, oh, so it's a Honey, I Shrank the Kids game. Kinda, yeah. It's, it's kind of pretty much influenced by Honey, I Shrank the Kids. Kind of mixed that with, um, I guess, the building mechanics of the forest, I guess you could say. And the, like, it's kind of like a cross between those two games. But yeah, that's exactly what TSA said. He was like, oh, so it's like a Honey, I Shrank the Kids inspired game. And I was like, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we're going to go up here, and we can actually make our way to this lamp over here. And if we come up on the lamp over here, there is another... Just around the side here, another batch of raw science right there, look at that. So 100 more raw science for us straight away, which is really nice, so definitely want that. Alright, let's come down here. Right, is any of my meat spoiled yet? Okay, the aphid meat is almost spoiled, so that's good. Because the sooner I can get a mushroom garden, um, the less I have to worry about food. And then the sooner I can get a uh, dew collector and some liquid catchers, the less I have to worry about water. So yeah, let's go keep harvesting these acorns. Because we're going to need these. So yeah, I think you need six for the acorn armor, and then you need um, you need. I also need acorn tops for spinning wheels as well, which is going to allow me to turn the plant fibers into crude rope at a one to one rate rather than three to one. So I actually save a lot of resources that way. There's another acorn shell right here, and there's oh, there's a big clump of sap here as well. So we're going to get that. Okay, inventory has enough room. Let's go and do it. There you go. Smash this up. One more, and we should have a load of sap. Excellent. So we're going to smash this up. And let's go ahead and collect all this that's kind of remained around here. Okay. Uh, any more acorns in the area? Uh, yep, there's one over here. Let's go and grab this guy. Now, I've got to be very careful because wolf, wolf spiders like to hang around here. So, as anyone says, uh, my one before that was, uh, I love this game, but I don't have it. Um, I, I was playing uh, playing Nemo. Ah, I see. Um, right, so let's grab that. Grab some more of these, and another acorn shell there. Excellent! So, got loads of those. But yeah, acorn bits make a really good food source. So yeah, definitely recommend picking up a load of these, because they will keep you uh, very well fed for a long time. Alright, so let's grab those. And let's see, there is more raw science around here, but the raw science that we could get is in a very dangerous place right next to a wolf spider. So I don't want to get that next load of raw science. There's a lot easier raw science we can get for now until we get better equipped. Um, and here says, I missed three sap clumps. Hmm, three sand clumps. Oh, and I actually missed an acorn shell right there too. Let's see, where did my uh, where do they go? I think I think I just I think I just grabbed them actually. Um, okay, so it's coming down here. 
yeah, if I miss them, it doesn't matter because they respawn, like, the sap and everything respawns every day. So if you miss some, it doesn't matter. It will always respawn and we can come back and get more. There's one right there. Let's get some more plant fibers here as well because those are handy and the sprigs. I definitely want to collect a good amount of sprigs because that's going to be used for uh, making smoothies a little bit later. So I definitely want to get those. Okay, so there's a workaround there. Let's just ignore that guy. Okay, so background here then. And get these. Okay, let's go ahead and there's another acorn bit. Okay, so there's nothing up there, that's where I just was. So let's go ahead and collect some more acorns that go from there. Says, uh, and he says, never mind, you got the sap. Awesome. He says, what annoys me, Max? I spent over 700 pounds on my new PC, and it's just been used for Netflix for the last few months. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's the that's thing. It's like, hmm, you got a new PC? Oh, I, I use it for Netflix. He's like, what? No, that wasn't in its intended purpose. God damn it. Okay, so let's come up here, and we should maybe find some more acorns and stuff up here. Uh, oh, we, there's the tree hollow right here. Now we can go in there, but I th sometimes there's a wolf spider in here. So I don't know if I want to go in here. So yeah, it's a dark area. But I don't know if there's going to be a wolf spider in here. Recently there hasn't been one in here though. That's the thing, in, in the most recent patch there hasn't been wolf spiders in here. Which has been kind of good because it means there's a shortcut to the lab, which is actually right here. But then I don't know if we're going to find any other wolf spiders kind of around this area as well. So let's go down here. Alright, here we go. And this is the oak lab, so let's go ahead and make our way down here. And now we're going to have to be a little bit careful because there's going to be an enemy down here very soon that we're going to need to fight and uh, not die to. And it says, uh, it says uh, exactly that. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. All right. Oh, look, there's a, there's a whole load of raw science right here. We can't actually pick this up. This is just like a, a raw science in a, in a container. But yeah, the reason there's raw science all over the world is our, the explosion actually blew up a container in this room over here. So that's where all the raw science was being stored. We blew it up, pretty much. So yeah, <laughs> we would pretty much destroyed all the raw science and scattered it over the world. Uh, selling it for use in Call of Duty Warzone. Oh, nice. All right, and look, there's actually a log over here. So I'll let you listen to this, guys, while I figure out how we pr proceed. Hmm. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Nothing? Ah, here we go. Look, what happens when you push this? Oh, that makes it go red. So does that do this? Aha! Yes, it does. So if I pull this thing now, maybe. Yay, we're over the door. Alright, let's go this way. I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to okay. my oh. drive directive list. Deprioritize Hello. grilling. Hey, there's an enemy here. Reprioritizing grilling. And he's stuck. Um, okay. This enemy has never usually been stuck. Okay, that's that's interesting. Let's come over here then. See if I can unstick him so I can actually fight him. No, he's not. He's not unsticking. Okay, I guess I just have to kill this guy as he is then. Okay, usually this guy will actually fly around after you, but it appears this guy is stuck. Did you unstick yourself now? No. Okay. Goodbye. There you go, and we get 100 raw science for killing that guy as well. Okay, yeah, usually this guy's like floating around this area and he'll come and kill you. But yeah, for some reason in 0.3, a lot of enemies seem to get stuck. Um, so let's go over this way. And there's actually another load of raw science right here. Thank you very much. So we'll grab that. And then, if we come over here, there is another batch of raw science right here. Look at that. So now we've definitely got enough raw science to do what I want. Let's analyze a few more things. So let's analyze the acorn shells and the acorn tops, and we can go from there. So this will give me access to the sap catcher, which is a really good one, the smoothie station, and the spinning wheel. So both those are all the three of those are really useful. And this will give me access to the acorn armor. So let's get that one. And that gives me all the acorn stuff and a storage chest, which again is really, really nice. So let's close this. And let's go ahead and help this little robot because he is currently on his back and he can't get up. So Hang in yeah. there. I'm gonna help. let's go ahead and pull him up and see what we can do. Come on, Burgle. No, you're not. You lie. I am sure this all must be all right. very oh, look, more of science. But hopefully I can explain. Aha. And there's another load down here as well. Hang on. We drop down here. There's another load. Right there. Nope, don't know anything about it. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. So it's very dark over here. Okay, what I could do, grab some of these real quick, and then craft a slime mold torch. There you go. 
questions you might have. And then equip that, and that'll light out the way a bit better. There you go, if we can use a slime or torch while we're down here. Uh, okay, now the slime or torch isn't that good because it really doesn't last very long, but I need to find my way out of here, so let's see if I can. Now, if you go the wrong way, you actually run into a load of soldier ants down here, so that's not so good. So I think we're going to go this way, and then come up here. Here we go. Yeah, look, the slime or torch is already like nearly half used, see? So yeah, it's not, it's not that great. But yeah, if you look down here... There are actually soldier ants down there, and yeah, luckily they can't get to you up here, but that's where the abandoned ant hill will lead you if you drop down there. You don't want to go that way, you want to go this way and get back to the lab in safety, because you can get back up to the lab like this. But yeah, it provides a different way to exit the lab if you need it. But there you go. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump up here. And let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Robot. Here we go. And Julie Junkie, welcome to the stream, dude. It says, hello, Maxi. I thought you streamed during the day. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> during the night now. <laughs> Just as, uh, oh, was, uh, the war zone thing. Okay, I read that one. Okay, do you have any work for me? Three bold quests arrive each day. For each completed, raw science do I pay. Good, we need all the raw science we can get. So what quests do you have? Okay, so we need to... Okay, so we need to make a clover poncho, clover shin guards, and we need to find spade gulch and complete a marker. Okay, that sounds easy. So let's go and accept all these three quests. Each of those is going to give us 100 raw science as well. Uh, G says, why is that? Because the only time I can stream now is during the night, because I'm so busy during the day that I just have zero time for streaming. Um, oh, look, and I found that right here, a grasslands burgle chip. This is what gives him extra recipes to unlock for you, which is really cool. So, I found a burgle chip. Here you go. Processing speed increased. 0.000000003%. That's amazing! What a big jump in processing speed! Alright. Let's go and now trade some raw science. And this will now allow me to go ahead and get some cool stuff. So I've only got 2000 raw science, but I want to get this guy right here. This is the. Um, the uh, multi-story bases one um, and this is really good because this gives me access to the stairs the floor now which means i can make it off the ground and we also get the triangle floor so yeah lots of stuff here that we can grab so let's go ahead and grab uh get this one um geo says what do you do besides dog training uh taking care of birds and children <laughs> very busy very busy very busy uh so yeah i'm a i'm a very very busy boy right now so yeah that's uh, that's the thing all right so let's go ahead and come over here now i can unlock this little route over here and there we go, let's get out of here. Okay, so I got three quests from this guy. We're gonna come out of here and we're gonna continue on our hunt for acorns. Because, you know, acorns are awesome. Also, we do wanna come out this way real quick uh, because we're getting thirsty again. I wanna come down here and I wanna find, there's a can of drink down here. Now, there's actually two There's actually two drink pot, pots right here. There's a, a, a puncho right here. Which I definitely want to get, so we definitely want to come over here and do that. So let's discover this guy. And then this should le leave a juice drop for us to use. There it is, right there. So I can go and grab this guy. Okay, so grab that. Excellent. And then there's also a can of juice up here, which we can drink from as well. Which is really cool. Uh, it says, when are we getting the old gang together for some Gnar mod? I have no idea right now, because literally my only free time is really late at night. And... Sometimes I'm not even free late at night, you know what I mean? I, I can literally make no plans with you. It sucks, but I can literally make no plans with any kind of people right now to do multiplayer stuff because I'm just I'm just too unreliable, and it would suck for all you guys when I'm just like, okay, I want to do this, but I can't, and, you know, I don't, I don't want to just annoy all you guys by, by just having to pull out on the last minute and stuff like that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, unfortunately, there's, there's, um, there's not really much time I, I can do. Either, there's not much time I can do right now, but I definitely want to at some point, but as for now, there's nothing really much I can do about that, at least for a while. Alright, so we got ourselves some cans of drink, so let's go ahead and see what else I can do. Oh yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to craft the acorn shovel now as well, because that's going to be something I'm going to need pretty soon. So that's going to be on tools, and I need the acorn shovel. Where is that? There, acorn shovel. Uh, we need one of these and an acorn bit, and then we craft one of those, which is going to be a very nice tool that I'm going to equip into slot number four, wherever that ended up going. There, equip that into slot number four here, into my hot pouch, because what we're going to do is we're going to dig up grubs, and we're going to take the grub goop so we can make smoothies in a minute, uh, which is going to be very cool. Uh, maybe a load of us should get the game at multiplayer. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Matt at GW says, Max is juicing. 
Better get it out of your system before testing. <laughs> I better, yeah. I said, it's okay, let's just keep us in mind that things get better. I, of course I will, yeah. I, I really do want to do more multiplayer stuff because I, I miss doing all that, you know? I, I really do miss doing all that stuff. But yeah, it's just unfortunate right now that I, I just can't. You know I mean? I'd love to, but it's just, I'm so tied up with things during the day and I can only ever stream at night. It's, and then and then it, that's if I can stream at night, if I'm either not, either just too exhausted or my internet is actually decent enough to be able to stream, you know what I mean? So yeah, a lot of things kind of just come in the way unfortunately I, I wish it wasn't the case i really do but yeah there's there's just too many too many things in the way right now okay now usually there's a load of grubs by this uh, oak tree but it seems that i haven't actually found any because i was gonna say i can get some grub goop and then we can get the smoothie station maybe they um maybe they've removed the grubs oh there's two ladybugs here I could fight these guys, but I'm not going to, because I'm just asking to die if I do. So yeah, let's not do that. Uh, an aphid honeydew right there. Good f good food and drink sauce. Pretty much, um, pretty much bug poop, right? So yeah, there is that. What are these ladybugs doing? I, I just, I'm just seeing... I'm just like, okay, they're, they're definitely eating something. Uh, I, I, don't think, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> okay, got 16 sap right here. Um, I'm 30 out of 30 slots, but yeah, we can collect some more honeydew there. Look at that. So grab some of that. Oh, I hear a grub. It's right here. So we're going to get our shovel. We're going to dig him out. And then we're going to get our spear and stab him to death. There we go. And then we're going to go and collect some parts. I guess I, I got a load of sprays. I guess I can drop this. And I can drop these plant fibers right here. Just so I can get the grub goop and the hides. Uh, I'm not worried about the meat. Uh, that's fine. I just want the hide and the goop. Because those are both useful for stuff. Let's see if I can find some more grubs around here. But yeah, i got to be super careful just because... Um, yeah, j just because of that. Uh, there's one here. Let's go get this guy. Where'd he go? Got him. Haha. Just have this guy. So yeah, I need um, I need like ten grub goop, I think, to make a smoothie station. Um, I could also make the grub armor as well if I wanted that. Either the acorn armor or the grub armor is good. Because oh, and I'm also looking at a flat to move out to move out of Kent. Oh, nice dude. Uh, Tia says. Um, yeah, same here. I've had people ask me to play and quite a few other games, but I simply don't have the time as when I'm off work. I spend time with my girlfriend when she finishes work. Yes, that's fair, dude. So, so we had a fun crew. No arguing, just crazy fun. Yeah, I know. It was it was great. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wool spider. Yeah, that that guy will one shot you. Uh, at this point in the game, Mr. Wolf Spider right there will completely and utterly annihilate you. You you don't want to go near him. Oh, look, there is some raw science right here. So let's go and get that. And sometimes you can open these and get good stuff out of them. Other times you will die. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave those for now. Um, okay, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and get some stuff here. I think I hear an orb weaver somewhere. But that's fine. I'm just going to pretend that he's not around right now. And just keep harvesting acorns. And try not to... Try try to pay little heed to the, to the big massive spider that's probably right behind me. Um, okay, I've got enough of those acorn pieces now. Is there any more acorns around here? Just around the uh, base of the tree here? No, that's going into the pond, so I don't want to go that way. Um, let's see. Oh, I was looking, looking at that. It says, um, it, 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 it says, open them! I want to see you die! But why? Why do you want to see me die? Yeah, of course you want to see me die, don't you? Um, yeah, because these 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 little egg sacs can contain either items or spiderlings, and yeah, they, they can they can kill you quite quickly without armor. Because right now we have no armor. Oh, but there's a web right there, and I do want that. Okay, what am I going to drop together? Okay, pebbles we can get everywhere. This webbing I want because that's actually really good. That's really useful for certain things. So let's get some webbing out of this. Just going to chop it up. We got some web fiber there. Very nice. Okay. Because, yeah, we can make a load of good stuff out of this later on. There you go. So we got five web fiber out of that, which is very nice. All right, I guess I'll open one, and hopefully we don't get spiderlings. Okay. Let's see. I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to this. Okay. There you go. Of course I haven't changed. Oh, oh, oh the wolf spider's awake. The wolf spider's awake. Okay. Oh, yeah, the spiderlings. Okay. Yep. Okay. Get, it, get, out, get out of there. Yeah, th those are spiderlings over there. And, yeah, they will... Probably kill me very quickly. Okay. All right. That's a. Okay. Yeah. They they kind they kind of temperamental right now. Let's see if I can try and kill this guy before he kills me. Okay. Is that the only one? Okay. Yeah. There's a wolf spider that side and a normal weaver that side. I can hear him. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Okay. All right. This is bad. Okay. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. He's stuck. Okay. Run! 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 
just run away, run away, run away, run away, get out of it, get out of it, get out of it. Yeah, that, that wolf spider, that wolf spider nearly freaking killed me. Okay. Oh my god, that was close. That was too close. Okay, that, that wolf spider literally was hunting me. Oh my god, that was... Okay, that was too close. I probably want to get my acorn stuff and then, like, move out of here really, really freaking quick. Um, oh, <laughs> that was so close. I perfect blocked him as well. I perfect blocked this thing as well. Yeah, because that's the thing with the wolf spider. If they do manage to get hit on you, they can poison you, uh, and then you die from poison most likely. But yeah, they can, they can, their bites can actually one shot me at this game as well. So if they actually get a bite in, then yeah, you're, you're gonna get one shot. I hear another grub here. There you go. Right, let's get this guy. Come on. Then. All right, let's get that guy. I'm not worried about the meat. I just want the, the goop. Right, there is an orb we around here somewhere, and I don't know where he is. Okay. Uh, oh, I hear another grub as well. Where's this other grub? I hear him on the ground. There he is. Got him. There's two. Okay, so again, hammer him. There's another one right there. Oh, there's three! Okay, come here. Got him. Get this grub. Oh, I gotta kill him first. That would help, wouldn't it? Come here. There you go. Yeah, these grubs are pretty good. Um, right, what am I dropping there? Uh, grub goop, that's fine. I just want the grub hide. There's a weevil over there. Okay, I think we're okay. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, that that um, that all weaver's on the hunt as well. I can I can hear the spiders just around the area now. They're, they're, it's it's getting to night time, so yeah, they're they're waking up and they're starting to hunt. Okay, I think the all weaver's up there on the leaf. Yeah, he is. Um, it's getting really dark now as well. This isn't good. Um, oh god, what was that? I don't know. Um, where is my? I'm looking for the acorn shell, but I don't see it. Okay. We're gonna go not that way. That's where that's where the wolf spider was. We're gonna go this way under these mushrooms over here. Okay, let's get away from this. Uh, get away from this guy. All right, we're gonna head back home. I think we've pretty much got enough stuff to use though, so that should be fine. Uh, there's one acorn right here. Let's go and smash this guy. There you go. There you go. Oh, and my meat is spoiling as well. Um, cool. That's a good thing because then we're gonna get spoiled meat, and that's gonna help us when it comes to building some things. Okay. okay, that was the ladybug. I, I heard something coming up to me on the right. I was like, oh my god, what is that? And I was like, nope, just ladybug. We're good. Okay, there's an all weaver to my right. Let's run this way. Let's go to the left, and hopefully we will avoid contact with the spiders. Okay. Man, that was a wolf, wolf spider on day two, guys. That is, uh, that is something else. Okay, but yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my armor first, and then... We'll look at upgrading some more things. Uh, the other thing I want to do as well is, yeah, come come to this point right here where the straw is. There's one thing I need to do. So where does the straw end right here? Because um, what I want to do is right at this point where the, where the drop goes, I'm going to go ahead and put a, um, a water container right here. So I put one of these here uh, and build this thing. Um, I need a couple of crude ropes as well, so let's craft. I think I can craft those um, if I can. Yeah, I can do two. Oh, it's dropping them though because my inventory is full. So I guess I'll just craft as many as I can and just pick up everything else that comes through. Okay, there we go. So close that. Then I can go and finish those. And then overnight, this thing will drop the water into there, which is actually going to be really handy. But now it's really dark and I've got to get home and sleep before I become wolf spider shell because they are now hunting. And yeah, the wolf spiders hunt at night and they will eat you very, very quickly if they find you. Um, so yeah, that's that's the bad thing. Let's get let's get back to our lean to and just sleep the night nice away. Uh, Tia says, yeah, I hate spiders. I normally crush them. Yeah. <laughs> it's Soviet Russia in grounded spiders crush you. <laughs> All right, there you go, and all my other meat seem to spoil as well. There you go, so all, all the other meat is spoiled, which is good, because that means I can start making mushroom gardens very soon, which could be handy. So for now, though, I need to go and put some stuff away. I'm not going to put the spoiled meat away, because that will get eaten up uh, quite quick. What I need to do today is, um, I guess I can eat these things. Let me go and consume these just to help me with food and water. I have limits. Because they both I help. Mean, I guess I thought probably what bottled water is. There you go, and one more. And last one, there you go. That helped me with uh, hunger and hydration just a little bit. There we go. And then I can sort out my last bit of hunger with some mushrooms. Save the acorn bits for later, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to go back to the m machine over here, the analyzer. Hang on a sec, I need to find out where the base section is. I should probably trail mark the analyzer as well, it might help. That might help, just a snitch. Um, yeah, normally, normally crush up with a shoe. Yep. <laughs> yeah, in this game, they crush you with their foot. All right, so let's go in here. We can analyze some more stuff. So I can analyze the spider webs. 
which is going to give me access to basketball hoops and a spinning wheel. Again, very good. I can get the grub goop, which I think is for the smooth station. That might already be unlocked. Um, and then we can also get the grub hides, which is for the grub armor. Which is very cool. So you get grub leggings and grub goggles. We already know the grub vest. Okay, perfect. So we got a bit more raw science for doing that as well, which is very nice. Okay, extra raw science. So yeah, I need to look for a place to build a base. Um, because yeah, I want to I want to get something built pretty quick. Honestly, um, I could build it up here though, because uh, there's a there's a bit of an area over here that I can come and clear out, and then I can build my base up the top here. I can build like a stairway up here from the mysterious machine, and then have it up there. That might be quite nice, actually. That might be a good idea. Hang on a sec. Because, like, up here, it's it's kind of a bit open. I might need to do some flattening a little bit. Like, you can't actually alter the landscape, but it's kind of a bigger open area. It's a bit more off the ground. Not as many bugs can get here. And, yeah, I can just chop this grass out of the way and build, right, like, right here. Because I can build... Um, when I get some weed stems, which is not too difficult to get, you just chop down a dandelion, you get some, uh, I can build some foundations and stuff. Which might be quite good. Oh, I missed, totally missed that jump. Okay, let's come up here real quick. Yeah, let me try on the standing line and analyze these, and I can get some stuff here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We need to start on a base um, to get some more permanent storage, and that's going to be a good idea. So, yeah, lots of things I want to do. Get some base, get some armor, and do all that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to chop that down. That'll give me wee stems that I can carry. I'm going to carry a wee stem. And I guess some, some wheat stems right here. We'll carry these and we can analyze these. We can carry up to five right now. When we get the ant armor, though, we can carry up to eight. So yeah, if you want if you want to carry more wheat stems, just find kill load of ants and get the ant armor. And that'll give you access to even more. But yeah, we're gonna take this and we're gonna analyze that because this will give me access to the foundations. Um, which we're gonna need. We're gonna need a lot of foundations to make this work. Uh, there are wheat stems like all around here, but um, the husky weeds we can't chop down until we get a better axe. So we had to wait a little while. But let's analyze this thing. I believe this gives me the walls and the foundations. Yep, stem wall, window stem wall. Okay, I guess we get foundations already for free. Uh, that might have come with the multi-story bases, so that works. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and start building some foundations and make a house. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Let's do it now. We're going to make a house and we're going to make a good rig now. Okay, so let's come over here. And I guess we'll put, I guess we can put our foundations in the shoe mark right here. Oh, that'll be great. Okay, so let's go B for build and we're going to come to this guy. And we're going to get these scaffolds right here. So the highest I can build them is like here. Uh, and then I think we can do this. Okay, so how big do I want to make this? Uh, I'm probably going to need to build one in the ground here as well for extra support. But I don't know. I think it kind of counts as this, these support. I might want to build it a bit lower, actually. Yeah, let's let's build it a bit lower. Hang on. Come out of that. X, I need to use to cancel that. Let's build it a little bit lower. I think that's going to be slightly too high to be supportable. So yeah, let's let's build it this site. Yeah, that that's better. I can build it this site now. So yeah, let's build a um a sim a simple house. Okay, it's not gonna be anything too advanced. It's just gonna be a simple house right now. So we're gonna need a lot of wisdom to make this work, but we can do it. So we can do seven. So it's gonna be ten here. Yeah, I think I think just a, a simple square house right now is gonna work absolutely fine, and it'll all be good. Let's get rid of that one. That's slightly too far this way, and then this one. Can go. Can I build it there? No, I built that one again too far across. So yeah, slight uh, boo boo in the building, right there and right there. Excellent. Okay, so now I can build this guy, and yeah, that should be fine. So now I got the foundation laid down, we can start building. Um, so yeah, like I said, the, the building mechanics in this game is very similar to the forest. Um, it's quite similar, honestly. Um, so we got those ones, those ones, those ones. Okay, so now I need to go and find some more dandelions uh, to chop down for additional weed stems. So let's kind of look up in the sky here, see if we can find any. Um, right, that's the laser. There's one over there. Okay, right, I see one. I see one right over here. Okay, so that guy is going down here. Okay, here we go. So yeah, let's get started on the base. I think it's going to be a good idea. And one more, chop it down, there we go. Okay, and there we go, those guys have all fallen down here. Let's go and get some of these. Okay, oh, I kind of hurt myself a bit from the fall, but that's fine. So five of these, hopefully, have dropped. Sometimes they kind of land in the clover, so you kind of got to go up and get them. I see another dandelion over there, though. Where the other ones go? There's, there's a fourth one there. Did any land up in the clover here? Yeah, so, sometimes they kind of land up in there and they don't, they don't drop. Okay, well, I got four. That'll do, four will be fine. Four will be fine, so let's go and do that. 
Okay, let's go ahead and get some more. So there's another dandelion right here. So let's go and grab this one. I think there's actually two over here. There's two together, I think. There's one here and like one like right next to it. Yeah, there is. Look. So that's going to be awesome. And let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So get that one and that one. There you go. Knock that guy down. There you go. Loads of stems there. And let's go and do this one as well. Let my stamina recover just a bit, and then we should be, we should be good. Okay. There you go. Excellent. So we're going to go and drop that down. Let that split up as well. Okay, let's get all the uh, weed stems from here. Very nice. And then we're going to take these guys back over and continue building. Once we've done the weed stem part, then the grass the grass bit will be easy because the grass is like very near and very common. It's just weed stems are a little bit harder to get at this point in the game, just because of you know how not really abundant they are until you get the tier 2 axe. Because yeah, once when, when you start chopping down these um, these ones right here, these are husky weeds. When you chop those down, they give you like 20. <laughs> Dandelions give you like 5 or 6 each time, the husky weeds give you like 20. That's like much better. Um, well, some of them only give you like 4 or 5, but most of them give you a, a, a huge a huge boost to how many weed stems you get. Okay, there's a stupid gnat around here as well who's trying to get me. I will not be, uh, I will not be uh, hit by a gnat today. Not today, no sir. I shall not allow it. Okay, let's go over here. And let's go ahead and continue building our foundations. There you go. And one right there, I guess. Okay, so I think we're going to need like two more trips and then we should have everything done. If you drop stuff on the floor, does it despawn or is it like miss and stays? Um, it didn't used to, but it does now. It takes a couple of in-game days, but I think the way the sport, the despawn mechanic works in this game is if it will despawn if you're not in the area for, within a, for a couple of days. So if you like like drop stuff and then leave the area and then just don't come back then it despawns but if you drop stuff but then you're like around the area quite frequently then it will continue it will it will stay around the area until you know you pick it up or store it somewhere so yeah you can go ahead and drop stuff on the ground if you want to but yeah i i prefer to make um pallets you can make those to like store your wee stems and stuff which is really good okay so i need one extra here okay so i need i think i need four more wee stems and that's it and then we've got the foundations built. Uh, so I need one more dandelion. Let's see if I can find another one. Um, I see a husky weed over there. Is there any other just dandelions around here though? See any over here? Hmm, maybe I should get on top of the baseball and have a look. There's a husky weed over there, but I can't use that one. Yeah, unfortunately getting weed sense is quite difficult in the other game, but that's fine. Let's look over here. Oh, I think I see one right over here. Here we go. There's one right down here. Although I think this is spider territory as well, just beyond this leaf. Um, so you might have to be a little bit careful. Yeah, here we go. There's a dandelion right here. So let's go and chop this out, and we'll go from there. It just says, uh, one we stay on the way out from the base on the left by the looks of it. Okay, I'll go and check that in a sec. There we go. Chop that down, and there we go. Chop this down. Oh, and that sent stuff flying. Let's get that one, that one. That one and that one. Yeah, I think we only need four, but I guess I'll, I'll I guess I'll bring five just in case. We might need some more, so that is fine. Okay, let's come back over here, and we're gonna make our way back, and then we should be able to build the last of the foundations. Hopefully, we have enough now, and that'd be awesome. Okay, so come up here. Uh, what was what was that? Did something just like fall on me. May I, I think I, I think something just fell on me. <laughs> Did Nathan like do a giant poop and it just landed on me? I don't know. Alright, so come over here, we're going to do that one, that'll finish that one off, then we got this one, this one, I think that's it, okay, so we can just drop these other two right here, because I think we'll need them for a door anyway, so we're definitely going to want to keep those. Alright, so that's that done, next is the floors, so let's go and get the floors in, so let's go ahead and go back to building, and then we're going to want to select the grass floor, which is right there, cool, so let's go ahead and put these in, say so one, uh, oh, I didn't want you, I didn't want you there, you Kind of in the wrong wrong spot for me. Hey, get out of the crafting thing. Okay, stupid net. Okay, would you, would you go away already? There you go. Okay, two, three, four. So you're gonna get a couple of floors like this. And each of these take four grass planks each. So they're not too bad. Floor, grass floors and grass walls will take four planks each. But the good thing is, grass is like everywhere around here. See, so we we don't have to like venture so far for grass. So this is gonna be a lot quicker. Okay, we can chop multiple down at once. Okay, so we should get a load of grass planks to use here. So let's go and chop down all the grass here. And one more here. 
excellent. There we go. And now we can go ahead and start building some of these. Okay, let's get a few of these. There we go. And then we're going to go and start building these up. So we can build some grass floors. There's one. I think I'm still carrying my weed stem on, eh? That's fine. It doesn't matter because I can only carry four. I can only do four at a time anyway, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and just build this up. And let's get this bit of grass out of the way here. And the other thing we can do is chop out the stump because that'll stop the grass from respawning in the immediate area, which is very, very handy. And it also gives you extra plant fibers as well, which is also very nice. Very good. There we go. We got that one. And let's go ahead and keep going. Pick up some more here. Yeah, slowly but surely we're going to put this thing together and it's going to be epic once we got it all finished. There you go. Tia says, yeah, if you remove the stumps, they'll never go back. Yep, yeah, remove the stumps, they will never go back. Exactly. Uh, that's one of the uh, that's a new mechanic they introduced um, in the most recent patch because before you could remove the stumps and they would all grow back but they removed that because you know people were saying oh we're trying to clear out our base and the grass is growing under it so yeah for stuff that you don't want to grow back like extra grass and stuff then yeah definitely remove the stump but for stuff you do want to grow back like the weeds and the dandelions I never remove the stump there you go and sooner I'll actually unlock a better way to harvest grass right now it's um pretty slow because um, it takes like a couple of swings with the axe but later on you can actually um, unlock a mutation that does it faster which is really good okay let's go and do this one so this one I definitely want to chop the stem out so let's go and do that there you go, and we get extra plant fibers just from doing that as well which is very very handy because you do need a lot of plant fibers um, throughout the course of the game so that's always very nice so definitely take those and there's a grass plank right there Excellent, so we'll do that one, and let's go and keep going here. It says, I literally asked that, says TS. Yeah, I, I just checked the story you asked it. So yeah, you, you predicted pretty much bang on the money. So yeah, let's do that one. And do this one. And then just chop these out as well, because I don't really need these anymore. So let's go and get rid of them. And let's go and pick up these. Uh, wait, throw that down there. There we go, and get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Get rid of all these extra stumps and stuff that I don't want, and there we go. Awesome. Okay, let's go and get the rest of the grass that's kind of been falling down around me here. Okay, so then we can go and put these in. Okay, so there's those ones. And there's a couple over here as well. Okay, so yeah, still need to do a lot of chopping, but it will get faster. Once you chop down enough grass, the mutation will be unlocked, and we can do it like twice as quick. But yeah, if I do two together, it's pretty good. I can do uh, I can do it like that, which is very nice. Okay. Oh, and my axe has broken. So we can go and repair that, which I'm going to do, because um, yeah, it's not too hard to repair. Let's go back to the mysterious machine down here, and we're going to go ahead and get some quartzite, and we can repair the axe straight away. There we go. And here says, I might get this game, give it a go. I recommend it. It's, it's very good. It's got a bit of a difficult combat learning curve in some places, but I, I, I definitely recommend giving it a go at least and trying it out. You know what I mean? I, th I think it's a really fun game, in my opinion. That's just my... Yeah, yeah, and, and you're just like, yep, dude, well, that, that's your opinion, and your opinion sucks. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and you're, I, I know you're going to be like, that's right. <laughs> okay, so we'll repair, this, uh, repair the axe with the quartzite here. Um, so, repair this thing, and wait. I did, I did bring out. Oh no, I brought out a pebble, not, not a quartzite. Uh, okay, get, get out of here then. Uh, I'm getting hungry as well, so that's the thing. Uh, okay, so you can go back, take you out. There we go, now I can repair it. Okay, yeah, if I, if I got the right thing for the job, would help. There we go, repair that. And we're done. So I'm getting thirsty now. Okay, let's go and see if my um, liquid catcher actually caught anything um, by the Tropic Up Puncho. Maybe it did. So where's the Puncho? It's over here. Yeah, if I, if I put it directly under the straw, I think it would have caught it. Um, I think I got it in the right position, but it was dark, so I'm not sure. If I didn't, I can always demolish it and like move it over a bit. Let's see. Uh, did I catch any? Uh, I don't think I did. Let's see. Note this thing is unfortunately empty. Did the droplet go somewhere else? Oh, look, there's my crude rape that I uh, dropped the night before. Did it go somewhere else? No, I don't think it did. Okay. So, yeah. Oh no, yeah, I went down here. Okay. Oh, maybe the maybe the bugs come back where it starts dropping down here again. I think it might have come back, yeah, because there was a bug no before where here, it kind of still. dropped down here. Okay, let's go and eat some mushrooms then, and there we go. And let's go back over this way. Okay, you can drink the dirty water as well if you need to, it'll just make you hungry, and then you just need to eat more, but there you go. Tia says no comment. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I thought is it, you're just like, yep, yeah, yeah, you, you got it right. I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to intervene and tell, and tell you. <laughs> he's like, uh, he's like, yep, you got it. Okay, chuck this out here. 
And oh, you can actually punch these out with your fists. I didn't know that. That's a, that's a new thing. Um, that'll actually save me um, durability on my exit. There we go. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Okay, let's get some more of these down. There we go. And okay, I guess punch, punch. Look at that. Yeah, I can actually punch these things out. Oh, my inventory's full though. Okay, well, let's go and get these grass planks down here. And what I could do as well is make a bridge um, between this section and that section as well, above the pathways. That'd be quite nice. Um, so yeah, I can kind of start bridging over the top of the deeper paths. So that's that's a good thing. So let's build that. And there's one there. Okay, give me that one. Give me that. And give me that one. Very good. Okay, so we need to chop out a little bit more grass here. So we're almost done with the floor. Yeah, as you can see, it does take quite a while to build the uh, to build the base up, but once you get it, it's all good. So there's one, two, there's five, five, six bits from that one actually. That's really good. Okay, there we go, and the floor is now complete. Look at that! Huzzah! We have a floor now! Yay! Okay. So yeah, floors are awesome. Floors are love. Floors are life. And now we have a floor for ourselves, which is very nice. Okay. So we're going to do this in a. a kind of a certain way. So what I want to do is I want to have um, a work area outside with some spinning wheels um, producing stuff, an area for the campfire. So the house itself is actually not going to be that big, um, but that's fine. I only need it to like, you know, get inside and be safe in the night and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get some walls and we're going to start with this. So the next thing is we're going to go and start with the walls. So I'm going to rotate them this way and start from the back. So I have a wall here, here and here. That should snap to it quite nicely. Uh, then I want one right there and there, so I can do it like this. And then at the front, I want to go ahead and do a wall like this and a wall like this. I'll probably replace some of these with windowed walls in a minute. I just want to kind of get an idea for the layout that I want. Hang on. If I built these too low, I think I did. Hang on. Yeah, I did. I built these. I built these all too low. But that's fine. I'm just trying to get an idea for the layout of what I want right now. So. That's fine. Okay, yeah, so built those all one, two, three. But now I've got an idea of what I want. So, you know, a wall like this. Then, yeah, here we go. That's that's the right size now. So, walls like this. And then we're going to have three here. And then I guess we can have a wall here. There'll be a door there. And then over this way, I think what I'll do is I'll have it so that there is... So, what I can do here is I can make, like, a storage bit right here. So, I can have all my storage over there behind this uh, wall. Then I can have a wall there and a wall there. Okay, that's kind of how I want my layout to be. Um, this stupid... hang on. This stupid net is trying to kill me. Let's... where are you? Where are you stupid net? Hey, come here. Get out of here. Stupid, stupid thing. Uh, oh, I can't collect them that fuzz or anything. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. So, yeah. Now I'm going to replace some of these with windows and doors. I think we could have a sideways door. That might look quite nice. So let's go and get rid of this. And we're going to put in a sideways door. I think we can do doors in, in a... Could we do doors sideways or are they only in basic directions? Oh, they're only in basic directions. Okay. That sucks. I was kind of hoping to have it in a in a sideways direction. Well, in that case then, maybe I'll have it... Um, maybe I'll have it right here. Because then it won't look so kind of weird on the outside. Okay, so let's go and move it. Why can't I not put you there? There you go. I want to put you there. Okay, we have a door there. And I guess we'll have a, uh, a windowed wall here. I'll put you guys there. There you go. And then I will replace the one at the back here with a windowed wall. And I'll put a window right there. Hang on. That's the right height, isn't it? Let me see. Yeah, that's the right. There's, they just don't have any crenellations on them. And then I guess I'll put another window over here. So get rid of that one and put one there. Excellent. Okay, so that's the first layer of walls and doors that I want to go ahead and get done. So let's go and build what I can here. So I'm going to need some sprigs and some crude rope for that part of the door. I need one weed stem um, for that, which I believe I have a couple. I have one there. So to get the frame of the door done, I need a wee stem. And then these also require, the windows also require wee stems as well. So we'll have to find a couple more as we go, but that's absolutely fine. We can go ahead and do that. And then we should be able to get some uh, get some stuff on the go here, which is going to be very, very nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Chop some grass and build some stuff. Here we go. So let's get that one. And let's chop these. And one more. Very good. Okay, and let's go ahead and... 
Oh, I can shovel these things as well? Interesting. <laughs> okay, I can pick these up now. Cool. Uh, let's get all the grass down here now, because a lot of it fell into the little gully over here. And let's go ahead and build this up. So then we're going to do four there. And let's go ahead and keep going. So yeah, I will need to sleep probably outside for one more night, but then after tomorrow, I should have a nice little shelter on the go, and then I'll be a happy fox. Well, a happy, very shrunken, tiny fox, but still, happy fox. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so there, and then there. So build this up. And then I can put some, what I can do then is put some stairs right here so I can get up here. Um, and we'll definitely do that soon as well. Okay. But for now, I just want to kind of build the basics here. There's a wee stone right there that I didn't use. Put that in that window there. All right. Let's go and chop this down. One more. There you go. That should give me a couple of bits here. Come on, break. There we go. So it takes like ages to break. It's just like, nope, nope, you got to wait. There you go. And then let's go and get some more from over here. That's dry grass. I'm not worried about that. I just need the regular old wet grass. Okay, here we go. So there's that one. Drop you down. Okay, so you got those guys. So I guess just slap you on the back. Just just anywhere anywhere I can reach, we'll just put it there. But yeah, it's very good because we've got a load of grass here. And a load of plant fibers here we can harvest later as well, so that's always handy. Okay, so we need to chop down some more. So there's another few right here. I wonder if I can do a few together. Yeah. No, I need to do this one right next to me. Huh. I wasn't even looking at that one. Interesting. <laughs> Alright, that works. So chop this one and then get all these down. Let's just chop like a good amount of these down. And it should be should be good from that point. And then we can do these ones. There you go. And yeah, also actually wearing our character out is a good thing because you actually unlock a mutation from doing that as well. So that's, all, that's also a good thing. Okay, now I've got loads of grass planks we can use, so let's go and build these up as well. All right, so slowly but surely, this place is coming together. And one there, there you go. Uh, some grass planks are kind of suspended up in the air there. <laughs> it's always funny when that happens. Um, okay, let's go on here and let's grab all these guys and get this built as quick as we can. So we'll do that one. I mean, ideally I get it built before dark, but I don't think I'm going to tonight because it's going to take a while. So yeah, building the, the base building is actually quite big, so yeah, it's a thing. Uh, get some of those. Okay, let's come back up here. So yeah, we should have hopefully now enough grass to make this work. Uh, go in here and then do some there. So I think I need like seven more pieces and then we're done. And I just need like a couple more wee stems for the window. And we should be good. Okay, so let's go over here. And in here, and then one, two, and okay, yeah, I need okay, three more, three more pieces for that, and then just some wheat stems, and then we've done that layer, and also some grass planks for the stairs as well. So yeah, gonna need a couple more pieces up here, so I'll get some kind of just prepared and ready over here. Okay, inventory is full. I can't take any more. Okay, so these last three over here, jump up on here. One, two, three, done. Uh, I guess I'll just collect these guys and drop them over here. So yeah, let's just put those together, and let's go and see if I can find... I need one more dandelion then, because I need another batch of weed stems to finish off this layer. I will need more weed stems for the roof as well now I think about it, so yeah, there's a couple of things... A couple of things I'm going to need weed stems for, because the clover roof requires one weed stem per roof support. Let's just go and see if I can happen to just find any in the area. There's some husky weeds. Like I said, those are really good because they drop tons, but we cannot access them yet. There's two dandelions together right over here. Hopefully I'm not going to run to a spider. Uh, right, where is the stalks of the dandelions? Yeah, sometimes it's quite hard to find them. Okay, that guy is going this way. Oh, water! At least it's clean. Thank you. Okay, those those stalks con converge here. Okay, so let's go and chop these down, and let's go from there. And then one more. Nice. Get to both of those. And okay, that's put plank. That's put some of the wee stems up really high. And there's also dandelion tusks we can grab as well if we need them. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately that's kind of not got the wee stems all the way down that I wanted to, but that's fine. We'll just take we'll, we'll take what we can get for now, and then we'll have to come back. But yeah, what I can at least do is then move my storage up and get that organized as well. Because then instead of having to like store stuff all out here, I actually store it in my base, and then we'll have loads more room to work and do stuff with, right? So that's going to be handy. So yeah, first of all we need to go ahead and finish this window, and this window, and I guess we'll just dump the other stuff right here for now. Okay, so that stuff can stay there. 
And let's get more wee stems and uh, clover as well, because we're going to need that. So yeah, wee stems and clover is some resources that I'm going to need pretty pretty soon. So can I put away anything in here? I think I can. Um, yeah, some plant fiber can stack in there. I just need a couple of couple more couple more bits of room here. If I can, anything else can just sit in there. No, no, not really. No, okay. Yeah, fine. Okay, we can't really. Okay, a pebble can, so I got one, one more room. One more room in my inventory as well, so that's, that's fine. What's going on over here? Okay, just some aphids coming along this way. Okay, not worried about the aphids. Um, and TSS, yeah, you've got clovers and storage. Yeah, I need a load of them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't just need a few, I need like a ton of them um, to make the roof. Because the clover roof is actually quite expensive. Um, it's four clovers plus one uh, stem, so quite a lot. Actually, I need to analyze a grass plank, don't I? I didn't do that yet. Oh, and is there more wheat stems here? Yes, there is. Nice, look at that. Let's go and collect a few more of these things on the way. Let's go and analyze the grass planks over here in the analyzer. Because that gives me access to the triangle walls as well, which is actually quite a nice one to have. So, analyze this guy. And that'll give me the triangle walls and a couple of things. This is, that sucks. Yeah, it does a bit. There you go. Oh, yeah, and it gives you the grass table and the inverted triangle walls as well. Nice. Okay, so yeah, we can go and do that. Right, we're going to need to sleep pretty soon. Uh, I'm not going to eat before you sleep because whenever you wake up, it always reduces your food to like a quarter full. So there's no point eating before we go to sleep. Um, let's go ahead and just come over here. It is now 7.43, so i got a little bit of time just to get all my weed stems and stuff kind of placed up here for now. And I guess we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I'll do the rest in the morning, but for now, let's go ahead and just drop this right here. So drop those in here and they can just stay there and then we'll go sleep the night away so that we don't get killed by wolf spiders and then we should be good because yeah there's a lot of things that i need to make because yeah as soon as we make some stuff then we can go out and start fighting the bigger bugs guys and that's going to be where the, the fun really begins so yeah at 8 p.m is when it's going to be time for sleeping and there we go hey i'm gonna fall asleep standing up if we nice. go much longer all right there we go and we've slept and we is good haha -ha. all right so these, these nets are back, aren't they? These stupid nets are back. Okay, so now we got that done. Let's go ahead and plan out the roof. Now that I've got access to all the different shapes that I need, we can go plan that out. So it's kind of here. Close this door so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Right, so the roof is going to be a little bit tricky to build because there's like a... kind of a weird design thing that's going to be going on with this because I've got like a, a corner, right? So what I could do is I could do... If I get this guy here, I could do it so it's like a a half roof like this and then it could come round. Yes, yeah, so if I do a half roof like this and then another like this and I'll have a, a just a regular old wall in the middle then the roof can come straight across there and then be another could then be another half roof straight over here I guess. Let's see, can I not build one there? I'm gonna, I wonder why I can't build one there. Hmm, I can build one there. What is blocking me from building over there? Okay, there's some some weird issue with that little bit. Hang on. Okay, here is there a bit of grass blocking or something? Or is it in the path of a laser? No, it's not in the path of a laser. Why can't I build one there then? I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, can I build any other different shapes right here? Let's see. Uh, can I build just a regular old grass wall up there? Okay, so let me put a regular wall up there. Hmm. I wonder why, yeah, so regular wall works. Okay, so yeah, I definitely want a wall up here though, so I need a roof there, a roof there. I just can use a window up here as well. Or well, maybe not, I don't know. Nah, nah, let's just have a regular wall there. I think a window would look kind of naff up there. Let's just do a wall. Like that. Okay, so we'll do a roof and a wall, a wall section right there. Then we're going to need to do, yeah, some roof sections across. Yeah, but this, this is why I wanted to have the... Um, like a roofed, uh, a roofed section here, just because it would look better like that, I think. Um, let's see. Uh, let's try then. So yeah, th this one... Oh wait, no, this one I can put like that. that. That's the right height. So then I can have roof across here. Then it's going to be like kind of a... I guess I could have like a, almost a shelter kind of thing like this. So yeah, I could do it like... Um, how could I do that? Yeah, I could, I could do it like that. And then I could have like a... Because I want to have like a curved roof in the front, but I don't think it's going to look so good. We can kind of plan it out and see what it looks like. So let's get the clover roof on the go. Which is going to be these guys, and I need my. Where's the regular roof pieces here? Uh, that's that one. I just need the regular clover roof. Here we go. Grass roof. Okay, so yeah, what I, what I was thinking of doing is we could have like one here, one here, 
But yeah, then that's not going to look very good there, is it? Yeah, so I think instead of a curved roof, I'm going to have to have one here, one kind of outwards. Yeah, one there. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just make like a flat roof kind of thing, but kind of make the outside bit open. Uh, and that, that would work, I think. Maybe. Oh, there's a big old bird up there as well. Luckily for us, the bird can't actually hurt us at this point. It might be able to uh, in a future update, but at this point, the birdie can't really do anything to us, which is something to be relieved about. Okay, so yeah, I could do something like this, I guess. And then on this bit, I can have a triangle floor. And then that can kind of sit over the top here. Like that. Let's have a look. Yeah, it kind of looks a little bit weird, but then again, all my bills look weird, so... What else is new? <laughs> you guys are like, yeah, no, no, nothing much is new there. Yeah, all my bills look a little weird, but that's, that's okay. Um, see, so we can do that. And then I can kind of have, it'll kind of look like a bit of a, a medieval kind of style here. Uh, so I can do this and have planks across and across. So that means I'm going to need a wall, a basic wall up here. And actually that might look okay. That might actually look okay actually, now, now I'm thinking about it. It might look alright. Okay, so let's come out of my crafting menu. I don't want to come out of that. Okay, so I need to go build again then. Yeah, I was kind of looking forward to a curved roof, but yeah, I guess a straight roof would do. And then we can have a wall. Yeah, because then we got that part of the wall here, so I can then just have another triangle wall. I think I can put the triangle walls diagonally, can I? Hopefully I can. Oh, it's going it's to suck if you can't, though. That's going to be... That's, that's going to be sucky if you can't do it diagonally. Oh, maybe, maybe you can't. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter, though, because I've got that kind of wall right here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And then we'll have a regular couple of walls just here. So we'll have a wall there. Yeah, it's going to look a bit weird, but... Yeah, everything I make looks weird, so it's fine. There you go, and that'll be our roof section. Okay, I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Okay, it looks fine from this angle. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be fine. It's gonna work. Okay. Okay, so let's go and see then what I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna need a couple of weed stems and lots of clover to start this off. But I should probably do the walls first so the whole thing doesn't fall down because there is some sort of structural integrity in this game, just like with Seven Days. So kind of have to watch out for it a little bit. So let's build the lower sections first. Uh, so any lower bits that need to be built must be done primarily, so that we're going to need to do that bit, we're going to need to do uh, this bit. So that only requires two, luckily, so that's actually quite nice. Uh, yep, we need more grass. Okay, time to get more grass. So let's go and find some more. There you go. Okay, let's chop down both of these, and that should give me enough for the, for the walls. Yeah, hopefully they will allow the triangle pieces to be moved diagonally as well, because that would be really, really nice. Okay, let's get this one down. But yeah, we're gonna have a load of perks here soon. Oh yeah, I'm getting hungry there, Sienna. Okay, but look, acorn bits will actually give you, you know, three acorn bits, you're full. Very nice. But let's go back to my um, liquid collector thingy over here as well. And actually, if I see any loose grass and weed stems on the way, I'll pick them up as well. Because that's probably a good use of my time, right? But yeah, we need to, we need water before I start dying. Because yeah, then, then your health will slowly but surely get sapped, and then you will probably get one shot by a bug. You don't actually die right now of hunger and dehydration, you just like, your health just gets like put really, really low. Oh, there's a ladybug there. Yes, eventually I will be fighting these guys. Ladybugs aren't too difficult to fight, but if they do land a hit on you, they can kill you very quickly. Okay, where's the, um, where's the puncho? I need to find where the drinks machine is. Uh, or the drink, I think it's around it somewhere. Hang on. Yeah, I'm uh, not looking in a good spot right now. What else? The puncher. Oh, oh. Okay, don't don't get killed. don't get crushed by the ladybug. He's uh, he's angry right now. But where is the puncher box? It's right around here usually. Did a human come by at night and pick it up? I don't know. I, mean, I guess I could just drink the regular water um, and then just eat some more acorn bits to to figure it out. There's lots of ladybugs around here as well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I can't find the I can't find the puncher. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll just drink regularly then. Go there. Oh no, wait, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, cool. So let's drop under it, or did it end up in here? I ended up here, but it's not quite in the liquid. It's not quite in the in the thing here. Okay, so yeah, I need to move that over, or make a way that it can kind of like slide down there. Okay, so I got a little bit of water. I need to get some more later, but that'll do for now. Yeah, currently there's no way to purify water, but you can make a dew collector, which will be a very useful thing that we can do quite soon, actually. Once I get a little more, once I get a load of waste stems, we can do a dew collector, which will be very nice. 
Okay, so let's come back up here. I have a little path here. I think it's actually looking pretty cool. Um, right, so over here, get some additional grass. And let's go ahead and build up the walls and the ceilings here. So we're going to do... So now we've got that foundation in, we can do this one. And then we can do some of those. And let's get a couple more here. So one... Yeah, these ladybugs are coming around the area. You've got to be careful of lava as well, because they will come around as well and try and destroy your base when you build it up big enough. So, yeah, there's there's a few existential threats that will come around every now and then. Hmm. Do I fight a ladybug now? I kind of, I kind of really want to, because I do want to get the ladybug armor as soon as possible, because that armor, that armor set is OP as hell. It's really good. Um, so it's the spider armor, but spider armor is a lot difficult, more difficult to get because you have to kill a wolf spider for that. Um, okay, let's do that one, and then fill those in, and then fill these in. Okay, I need three more grass blades, and I need some for the roof as well, but that's fine. So three more grass. Do I have any full ones now? No, I think they're all gone. Okay, let's just chop that a bit more then. And then we should be good. There you go. And that should be enough for both of these. Come on, turn to the planks, there you go. Excellent, and that should be enough for these to finish the wall. And then I gotta do the ceiling. Okay, let's go and do the ceiling part, and then we can work on the roof after that. So yeah, I need quite a few of these. Quite a few to make this work, but there you go. Uh, so one, there you go, that one, and that one. All right, we're doing good. Um, okay, so let's go and chop down more grass, because yeah, we still don't have enough. <laughs> Never enough, guys. All the grass in the world is never enough. Okay, well, that, that grass actually kind of conveniently fell right here. There you go. Okay, and then is that everything here? Uh, yep, then I just need one on the outside right there. Okay, so I need one more piece of grass, I think. Maybe two, then we should be done. Then just to find more wheat stems to finish off the roof and some clovers, and then we're good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, loads of grass there. There we go. Excellent, so we'll grab those. And then we're going to come up here and put these last ones in on the top. Excellent. And then I guess I'll just drop this grass right here for now. And then we get... Now i got to go and get weed stems to build the clover roofs. I'm going to need six weed stems in total. I have four here, I believe. Three. And come on, weed stem. Four. There you go. So I can do one, two. There you go. So we can do four of these so far. And I can put the clover in on one of these, I guess. There you go. I guess I'll do that one for now. All right, let's go and get some more and see what we can find. So I need more clover. I do have some in storage, but I think I'm going to need more than what I currently have. So let us get chopping. And some of the clover just like... The physics in this game are like out of whack right now as well, because sometimes the clover just like lands and flies off everywhere, <laughs> which is really funny when that happens. Okay, but yeah, I'm looking forward to getting all this done so then we can actually have a safer storage spot for all of our things, which is going to be very nice. Um, let's see, do we have any, we have more clover in here, don't we? So let's go and grab some more. Uh, clover, 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 right there. Yeah, there you go. That might be enough. We might need we might need a little bit more. Let's go and try that for now. While we look for more resources and stuff. There's a wee stem right there, perfect. So that can be that one here. Okay. So four, eight... Okay, I need a wee stem for that one. Okay, so that's almost all done. Okay, then come out here. If I, if I, if I knew where the door was, it'd help, wouldn't it? Okay, so I need three more clover. Three more clover and a wee stem, and that's the build pretty much done at that point, which is awesome. So I should be able to get three more clover very easily from right over here, because clover is literally all over the shop. Especially right right over here. It's just like everywhere, see? So, so. One of those gives you three each anyway, so there we go. Uh, what just happened? Did it land on my head? Yeah, it did. There's one. It's always funny when the clover lands on your head. One, two, and... Stupid David. I mean, Nat, or whatever you are. Yeah. Fly thing. Furball with wings. Yeah, that's that's what it is. <laughs> Furball with wings. Alright, there you go. So guys, to everyone watching right now, let's do a hashtag. Type in the comments, hashtag Furball with wings. Just to see, just just to see who's here. Um, actually, let me just also check my stream and see how that's actually going right now because I want to make sure that we're not actually dropping any frames. I hope we are not. We are. It's a little bit laggy, but it's okay. It's it's not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible. Okay, that's fine. As long as as long as it's kind of okay, then I think we're alright. Okay, so that's everything there. We just need one more weed stem. So now it's daytime there. Hopefully, I can see another dandelion here. 
Well, let me see if I can find one. Uh, wait, wait, why am I glitching under that? I don't know. I'm gonna need a few wisdoms though, actually, because I want to build one set of stairs as well, so there's a couple of things that I want to do. So yeah, a couple of things that are on my agenda. So is that a dandelion just over there? No, that's the laser beam thingy, isn't it? Yeah, that's the laser. So none over this way. And i got to be very careful because we're getting into... The further out from the middle you go, the more likely you're right, going to run into a spider. So, yeah. Maybe I can find some just down on the thing here. Right, let me count this branch real quick. And see... If I can just spot one from above the grass layer. Because maybe I can. Oh, there's a tree set right here as well. Okay, there's a dandelion there. Is there any closer to the home? Yeah, there's one right over there. But that's in the dry area as well. There's one over there. Yeah, let's, get, let's go with the one over here. Okay, so pretty much in this direction. Oh, okay. So in this direction is where we've got to go. And we should get into it. We should run into a dandelion pretty quickly. There's a couple of ladybugs around me. I will kill them eventually. And uh, welcome, uh, uh, Leah Cheever again. How you doing? Leah is back. How you doing? Thanks so much for coming along. And welcome back. Um, let me see. Let me see. So where's that dandelion? I just see it. A minute ago. I did see it! Really? Really? It's gone. <sighs> well, there's a the husky weed anyway. I thought there was one, like, right by the... Oh, maybe it was the laser thing I saw. I'm not down to that. Oh, no, no, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's right there, right there. Okay. Yeah, this is right by where spiders like to live, so... I've got to be careful here. Yeah, we're... Yeah, the spiders are just over there, so... I've got to be very careful. If an ore weaver comes at this point, I am gonna die. A very quick and painful death. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I, I can even hear them. They're just like I can hear them hissing from a, from all the way over there. Okay, so five of these will do fine. Or just that's the last one. No, no, I, I, I get this. No, I, I hear it hissing. Let's run. Let's run. Let's get out of it. It's not aggroed, but it's when, when they start hissing, they kind of start patrolling. Hashtag a blind fucker will like says to you. Yeah, well, there is that. <laughs> there is that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that hashtag. Okay, and we are th once again thirsty, so I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to consume the dirty water because I haven't really found any other other water sources right now. Okay, so home is that way. Oh is, wait, is there another dandelion right here? Yeah, there's another one right here. Okay, so there's actually two in the area. Very nice. Okay, let's get back down here then, and let us find our base, which is over this way. There it is. Oh, you can actually see it from here now. Awesome. So yeah, the, ba the base is now visible. So let's go ahead and build this thing, and then we're going to build a set of stairs to get up to the front porch as well, so I don't have to jump every time. And boom, there you go. We now have a finished little house. Look at that. So the last thing to do then is build a set of stairs like right here. So let's go and do that. So I want a set of grass stairs, which is these guys here. Hopefully they add like the wooden variants as well at some point. Would be nice. So put one set there, and then that's going to require one plank. So I got two left over, and I think I need just three bits of grass, and that's it. So is there any more grass down there? Yes, there is. Perfect. One, two, three, and that's I think all I need to go ahead and finish this off. And then we go. We'll have a, a small little house base, which is going to be good for us to get started with. Eventually we'll expand it, I'm sure. Oh wait, no, I do need four. Okay, for the for the other bits it's three. Okay, unfortunately for me there's a piece of grass right here. So let's go ahead and just drop that out, and there you go. Aha! And now I have stairs. Excellent. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and just drop that over there. Let's go ahead and make some fences so that we can actually kind of encase this top section and not worry about things like falling off or bugs getting into it. So let's go ahead and have a look for some fences. So there's a sprig fence or the acorn fence. I think for right now the sprig fence is going to be just easier to do overall, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the sprig fence right here. I'm just going to put this guy up on here. So kind of has a bit of a clipping issue with the with the flooring, but it's fine. It'll, it'll look okay. It probably won't be too noticeable in the end. I notice it now, but it's fine. It'll, it'll be fine in the end. I, I, I'm telling myself this to like, you know, mitigate my extreme OCD right now. So we need one there, and then we need one here. Excellent, and we can go ahead and build these up. So these require three sprigs each, plus two crude rope. Okay, so let's do all the sprigs first. Then the crude rope will be a whole other story. There you go. So now we can go and get some crude rope, so let's go craft. This is why I want to get the other station though, because that's going to be very good. 
Uh, I got three points for uh, the one sitting behind the keyboard. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, definitely forgot that one. Okay, so let's craft up a load of these. Okay, so I've got ten of these. I hope that's good enough. Do I have five of these to put in? So, two, four, six, eight, ten. I need two more. Okay. Easy enough. We can go and get some of the other plant fibers here. Because I don't want this grass to regrow anyway. So, let's go and get some of those. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Oh, my axe broke again. Just in time. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so that's all done. Let's go ahead and craft some more of these. Excellent. And close that, and I'm going to do that. And there we go, we now have a little gate right here as well. Cool, so now we have a little porch that we can do stuff on. Okay, so the next thing then we're going to do is we're going to plan out where I want everything uh, after finding a water source. Uh, because, yeah, I need to drink. I'm just going to drink some dirty water for now, just because, like, literally that's the only real water I can find in the area. And I've got plenty of acorn bits to make up for food, so... Risk the botulism. Yeah, risk the botulism, let's do it. So we're poisoned, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go and grab that one, and last one. Come on! Okay, that's gonna make me hungry, but then I can just eat I have limits. acorn bits, or I guess I thought I and that'll put me back up to the top. Excellent. So yeah, it will lower my food slightly, but there we go. Acorn bits will get me pretty much the top and stop me losing health. Because yeah, it's very hard to recover health in this game until you get the smoothies, which actually is what we're gonna work on very soon. Okay, so I can't get my bed just yet, so for now we're gonna get another lean to put in here. So that's going to be... where's my lean-to? That's going to be in this one. So yeah, currently we can't get a bed, so yeah, the lean-to will have to do. Uh, I guess I can just build it kind of half in that rock. Yeah, look, I, I got a rock pillow. Look at that. that. That'll do. So I need a couple of clover leaves to make that work, so it's going to do that. I need to also get my axe repaired, so let's go and do that as well. I do have some quartz in here, thankfully, so I can go ahead and get a little bit of that. And then I can go ahead and repair my axe. So we're going to repair you, very good, and then we're going to need to get some more clover. I'm actually going to need to get a lot of clover, mind you, because um, the storage barrels require like four bits each, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of clover we're going to need. Because yeah, I want to make a big old storage uh, storage network, so yeah, I'm going to need quite a lot of these things um, as we go. So yeah, I should probably harvest a few of these just to be on the safe side, which sounds good. Okay, so let's just chop them down first, and then we'll pick them up in a minute. But yeah, once we get the smoothie station, I will also need a ton of clover too. So, there is that. Oh, that's the sprig, which can't be chopped for some reason. So let's get rid of all these. There you go. And this one. Okay. That should be a good amount for now. Okay. So let's do that. So it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we got, we got a lot here. 15, 16, 17, 20... 21. Yeah, I got 21. That's that's not bad. Hey, what are you doing? Stupid nap. Hey, so don't 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 nap butt me into the water. How dare you? Um, Tis says, how much is this game? Um, I think when I looked, it was like I think it was like 25 dollars when I looked. Um, not sure what the price is now, but I will have to have a look at that. Let's set my respawn in my base now. Okay, so now what I want to do is get this place lit up a little bit, right? Because it's going to be very dark at night, and I like the idea of having some light, because, you know, light is good. So let's go ahead and get some stuff to do that with. And this stupid gnat, where are you? I will find you, Mr. Gnat. Come here. Oh yeah, now you're running, now you're running. Now, yeah, now, now you know you've annoyed me. Ready, you got another hit on me. Stop it. Yeah, I, I'm literally trying to swap flies right now. Yeah, these these guys are annoying. Like, very annoying. Are you coming back? Are you coming back? You want, you want, want some more? Want some more? No? No, you, you, you're Karen? you Karen out? Yeah, he's, this guy's backing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he knows now. He's like, alright, alright, I know I've annoyed you. They won't stop though, they'll, they'll keep coming. They always do. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's like $24, so like £20, I think, something like that. Might be slightly more now that they got the newest update out, but I think that's how much it was when I last checked. Okay, so over here then, okay, let's let's just plan out stuff and then we'll do we'll do like the actual construction of it in a minute. Uh, that's probably the better way to go anyway. So over here then, I want to get some storage and we're going to do it for now. We're going to do it in the form of barrels, right? Because that's probably the easiest way to go about this for now. So I'm going to do one. So how many barrels can I cram in here? Can I cram four? 
I can, that's going to be good. No, I can only do three. Okay, that's fine. So I think I'm going to do a set of... Okay, so let's go and spread them out a bit then so it looks nicer. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, three. And we're going to do a series of like nine barrels right here. In this section, why can't I? Why can I not put you there? There we go. I can. Okay, it's very just very picky about where I can rotate it to make it work. There, I get six, and then I'll do three more right here. Cool, seven, and there we go. Get some barrels right there. Okay, because that's going to be my story stuff in a while. Well, actually, I guess eight will do if I can not get nine in. Oh, no, I can. There you go. So nine barrels are going to go there, so I'm going to require 27 clover and a ton of fiber up to make that work, but that's cool. So that's going to be, like, my storage for now. Um, and then I'm going to want to have outside the base, I want my cooking spit. So let's go and put that down. Um, so cooking spit is going to be in this one. And we're going to have this guy right here. So cooking spit, I can have... Just over here, I guess. Actually, it might look nicer if I do it diagonally. Like that. There you go. So I have a cooking spit right there. Then I want to have my smoothie station. And I guess we can put this guy... Not really right next to it. I probably want this inside. Um, I'll, I'll get some like furniture in here as well at some point. But yeah, I guess I'll have my smoothie station over here. And I might make another barrel next to it for smoothie ingredients. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. So I'll put a chest next to this for the ingredients for said smoothies. So that's going to be an idea. So where is the chest? Here we go. So yeah, any smoothie ingredients can be stored in this guy. So let's go and do that. Let's kind of angle it right. There we go. And we have um, FX, uh, mast, um, Masterful. I think that's uh, I think that's how, uh, how I say it. And, and so, hello, Governor. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. And we have... Um, uh, I, f I found as well. Uh, welcome to the street. Thank you guys so much for popping in. How are you guys doing? All right, so let's go ahead and put these down. So I'm going to have these over here. Uh, my lean-to is already placed, and I have my spawn set now, which is fine. Oh, yeah, I need to put the workbench in here as well. That's the other thing I need. That's the very important one, because that's going to allow me to craft the armor and stuff. So the workbench is in this one, I think. Or maybe not. No, it's on the next page now. Workbench is here. Okay, so let me see where I want to put this. So the workbench is quite big is rather large so I'm probably gonna put this guy next to my bed right here I don't really want it in front of the window but I might not have a choice at this point um, yeah, hang on let me back out here a little bit Let's see can I put it like there no it's kind of too close to the window I could have the weapons like in this in this corner here then might be nice yeah that might, that might be okay yeah be in front of the window but it's okay we'll make it work Let's see, how much does that block out? Yeah, it blocks out. It completely defeats having the, po the, the point of having a window there, but there you go. Yeah, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. It'll still look good. We'll be, we'll be able to see it from the outside, and that should be pretty good. So that's all good there. So I'm going to need... Actually, I can build that with the three grass planks I've got around here as well. So I can actually finish the wet bench right away. Because there's some grass planks down here. Let's go and grab those then, and then we'll finish off the wet bench real quick. But yeah, we're going to have to do a bit of resource grinding to make everything work soon but we can do that one there you go we actually have a workbench there and it actually provides a bit of a light source as well which is quite nice speaking of light sources i do need some um in the base so we're gonna go ahead and grab the the plant lamp i think is gonna be the best one we need some dry grass to make these work but we're gonna have a couple here so i can have one like in this corner here i can have one can I have any between my storages or at the back there no i can't have any over there so i, I guess i can have one like here Let's see, maybe one like right here. Okay, and then maybe one over here by my bed. Yeah, we'll do that. There we go, excellent. So we've got a couple of light sources right there, and that requires just some dry grass chunks, which, fortunately for me, there is some dry grass just around the back here. So let's go and get this, and that should be good. So grab those ones, and this one. Excellent, so we can go pick this up. It's getting very dark again, so you've got to be a little bit careful here, but that's fine. Let's go and get a couple of these. I should be able to make one of these at least. Um, that's just regular fiber and pebbles. Where's where's all the other dry grass? Yeah, it's too dark to see. I can't see anything. Yeah, it's just plant fiber. Okay, so I can't quite make everything yet. But Oh, wait, no, I can. There we go. 
I can turn that light on. Oh, there you go. Now I can actually see a little bit. Look at that. So our base is now lit up just a smidge. Look at that grass tongue there as well, because that can just be just thrown over there. Get out of here, stupid grass plank. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. <laughs> Nobody likes you. <laughs> the grass plank's like, oh. But I was so sure I was liked. Okay, um, so build this one. Okay, I need some more sprigs and stuff. We're probably going to have to wait till the morning because it's going to get very dark very soon. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm probably going to sleep now. Yeah, here we go. Super dark, so let's go sleep. I'm pushed. Should we call it a day? Yes, let's call it a day. That sounds like a very good plan. Um, okay, so this I can build up with the egg on top and the grub goop. I need some sprigs to finish that off. Which shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, let's go and get some stuff from here. So there's plant fibers here, which I'm, I'm going to need a ton of that to make the crew group anyway, so I'm glad that I've chopped down this. There's some more dry grass here. And then this one. There you go. Then we chop down all this stuff and get some more. Any land on my roof? I think probably some land on my roof, but that's fine. So let's get some dry grass there. There's a sprig right here in the in the in the gully here. There's a couple of other sprigs up here as well, so we should be good. Alright, so that's everything there. All done. Let's come and make our way over here then. So I should be able to mainly complete this. I think I just need Yeah, I need a couple more sprigs for that. So I should have some in here actually. Let's go and grab whatever I have in my little storage over here. Eventually I'll uh, di I'll discontinue this barrel as well. Because this is like right out in the open, which is not too good. Okay, so let's get what I can here. Okay, and then we can complete these other sap sconces as well. And that should be all good. Alright, so let's go make our way over this way. And oh, more dragrass here. Look at that. So let's get that out of the way as well. And then two more hits for that. You get this stupid gnats back. I guess that's the one disadvantage about being in this area is you get, you get, you get these stupid gnats all the time just trying to kill you. They don't really do any damage to you, but they, they try. Okay, so we got... That's going to make the smoothie station. Now we can do this light right here. Perfect. Turn this guy on. Very good. Look at that. So yeah, now, now, now we're getting somewhere. So now I need... Okay, I need more sap to finish that one off, which is fine. Easy enough. Okay, there we go. Now we got the cooking spit. And everything is all good there. So yeah, now I need to probably go and start doing these. So get these things put on the top. I need more clover to make that work. And then I also need to get some crude rope. So let's get a load of that. So crude rope, here we go. I need to craft a ton of these because, yeah, we need a lot of these for the storage and everything. So yeah, it's, it's, it's all good though if we can do it. Yeah, we're going to need to find a load. So I think that's enough for two of these storages. No, almost enough for three. So it's one, two... And so if it's done, we need more. Okay, there's a load. Thankfully, though, we have a load of plant fibers kind of in the area in general. And also down here. I need to collect more sap as well because we're going to need that too. Okay, so let's get all my plant fibers. Oh, wait, I have enough sap here to, to, to use for the for the ropes. That should be fine. And there's some more dry grass right there. Okay, hang on. Give me all the sap. I don't know why it was only giving me like a couple of pieces of sap, but yeah, I want all of it. Give me the lot. Excellent. All right, so jump back up here and over here. Alrighty, so now I can go ahead and complete this one. Very good, and turn that guy on as well. Excellent. And now our base is nice and lit up on the inside, which is very, very nice indeed. Um, so that requires some acorn pieces and some more clover leaves. We can finish that off pretty soon. And now I can go ahead and craft all of these into more crude rope that we can use as well. Yeah, highly useful the recipes and blueprints. Yeah, a lot of stuff we can do here. Okay. So there we go, and we're getting hungry and thirsty, I can already tell, so yeah, we're going to need to eat and drink very soon. Okay, so let's go ahead and do whatever we can with these. Just finish off whatever we can. Okay, and then we get access to storage here, and then one there. Okay, yeah, so we just need some clover leaves and a bit more plant fiber, and then that's our storage system pretty much ready to go. Because uh, we already got the chest ready, so that's always good. Okay, so grab these, and let's go ahead and get a load of clover here. And what I'm thinking about, let's drink. So drink the day water again, and then we'll just eat some acorn bits. And that'll, that'll pretty much do it. Okay, there you go. One more. Excellent. And then I'll consume the honeydew. And then consume the rest of this. There you go. So a couple of acorn bits later. And we're good. Yeah. So yeah, very, very easy just to drink dirty water in this game, honestly. Which is actually which is actually quite funny, because you can you can get away with just like, oh I'll just drink all the dirty water and we'll be fine. <laughs> it's like, okay. 
Makes sense. Not. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I definitely need more acorn bits for the armor as well soon. Uh, but that's okay. So let's go ahead then and get additional clover, plant fibers, all that stuff we're going to need. Because yeah, I'm going to need quite a bit more of it. Okay. Another one of these nets are back as well. There you go. There's a couple more here. Okay, that net is, that net is trying to come, come and get me again. He's like, I will destroy you! It's like Revenge of the Nets. It's like, well, I didn't do anything to you. It was, initially, it was the, um... It was a stupid, um... Mite that picked a fight with the net. Not me. I don't know why they would want to come after me. Sometimes you can actually find them carrying things as well. Like, they, they'll, like... they'll like If there's stuff lying around on the ground, they will actually pick it up and steal it, which is really funny. It's really annoying, but it's really funny as well. Okay, let's go and try and find some more plant fibers in the area. So I'm going to need them, and then we should be pretty good. Okay. There's one there as well, and one here, and one here. Okay, so yeah, quite a few plant fibers here we can make more crude root with. And, of course, chop this out as well. Get some additional ones here. So yeah, I don't want any of this grass to respawn anyway, so... That is absolutely fine. But yeah, it looks like this base pretty much just have one way to kind of get up here, which is actually a really good thing. Okay, and then we can destroy these two. There you go, so you get those ones before they roll away. Hmm. Roll Away was a great game. Anyone, anyone ever played the PlayStation One game Roll Away? Or it was actually called um in the in the in the, in the EU is called Cooler World. Anyone ever played that game? Such a good game. It was a really really good puzzle game. I loved it. Um, okay, so I need to go ahead and craft some more of these crew groups. Then I never analyzed the crew group either, so that's probably something I need to do. But let's go ahead and get there. And Tia says nope. Uh, I recommend it. It's a very it's, if you, if you're into any kind of puzzle games, I recommend it. It's, I I thought it was a very good game. But then again, I'm just a nerd, so I don't know. Maybe it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, is that done? Is that done? And there we go. So now we have a load of storage ready to go. So now I can start storing all the stuff I need. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have in this one. I don't actually. I don't want to. I don't want to store spoiled meat though. That's the that's the only thing. Because I don't want ants to come up here and start raiding my base for spoiled meat. So I'm gonna have to think about something else to do with the food. Um, so yeah, we do have a lot of spoiled meat here. Is there anything else I didn't analyze either? No. Okay. So yeah, the first one then we're gonna have pretty much just like grass and sprigs, right? So grass and sprigs are gonna go in this first one just because it's you know, nice and easy. Uh, that's acorn bits, grass, sprigs, and clover can go in this first one. Sounds like a plan. And of course, any dry grass can kind of join that one as well. Second one, we can have pebbles and any quartzite that we'll get later. There's some more sprigs here as well. Um, yeah. Third one, we can have, I guess, bug. This one up here is like bug products, so we can have like things that things that come off of bugs, like fuzz and things like that, can all be put in there. So let me actually get. Uh, no, I've done that. Let me get everything else from this other storage and move it up here, and we should be pretty good. Um, and Sand Lady, how you doing, Sand Lady? It's been a long time. How you been? Um, Tia says, I hate puzzle games and board games. <laughs> you hate puzzle games and board games? Ah, oh, dude, you're missing out. He's like, he's like, I'm not missing out, you nerd, he says. <laughs> oh, you little, little bugger. Aha, I got you that time, yeah. Ah, yeah. What are you going to do about it? That's what you get. Oh, look, there goes his corpse. Ha, give me that. Thank you. Got some meat and some fuzz. Look at that. Nice. Come on, now, where's, where's the last one of you? Go at me, bro. Oh yeah, you're flying around. Oh, there you are. I, I will get you. I'll freaking kill you. Come here. Yeah. That's what you get. Stupid nut. There we go. Haha. -ha. And now actually we can we can cook his meat on the campfire. Because uh, each of those actually does give you meat to use. So we can go ahead and cook those. So let's go and do that. So put this guy and this guy on. And that will start cooking. Very nice. Look at that. Okay. So yeah, in this one I think we're going to have... Um, harder to get plant materials, so acorn bits and any processed plant materials uh, we'll have in this one. So this is going to say acorn bits, um, sap, uh, all that kind of stuff can go in here. I didn't analyze this yet, so I need to do that. So yeah, I will take some stuff to the analyzer in just a sec to do that. Okay, so bug parts is going in here. So yeah, the mite fuzz can sit in there. I need the gnat fuzz to analyze for now. So pebblets can go in there. Plant fibers and stuff can go in there. Yeah, acorn tops are slightly harder to get plant materials, so that can go up here. Yeah, so pretty much like a mix of common and rare plant materials. Um, yeah, let's go and analyze that crude rope real quick, just so I can unlock some recipes of that. And we should be pretty good. But yeah, I think our base so far is actually looking pretty good. we got a pretty nice setup going. Because the analyzer is like right over here, so it's very easy to get to. 
And you can also just pick up more things on the way too. Look at that. Okay, so we've got to analyze this guy. And there we go. <laughs> and this is a hell there. Yes, what you said, Max. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, that one, and then this one. And this is like nerd. <laughs> yep, I'm a nerd. I fully admit it. I'm a nerd. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to find actually is a thistle bush because I, now that we've got the natfaz analyzed, I can get a bow, um, and that's going to be very nice. The bow doesn't do that much damage, but it's really useful against like slower large enemies like the bombardier beetle that you can kind of stay out the way from because that's that that's definitely how if you guys are fighting bombardier beetles uh, and you're not comfortable with melee with some of these guys i recommend um fighting them at range bombardier, at least the bombardier beetle um that's usually the only enemy i really fight at range because yeah they their, their first attack stuns you and it drops you into their boiling acid that they launch and yeah that's never fun right i think some more mites are back here now so i might have to kill a few more here we go Kill that guy. Very good. Right. Where you at? There you go. Come here. Okay, that's another one. Where you at? I hear him. There you go. Oh, there you are. Come here. Yeah, don't run away. Gotcha. Okay. You missed. Haha. -ha. There you go. He's out. There's an aphid over there. Don't really want to tank with that one there. Okay, here we go. Come on, mate. I'm going to need a load of mite fuzz anyway, so that's always a good thing. Because I need that for the acorn armor, so you may as well collect what we can. See, I think there's a thorny bush up here somewhere that we can use. Because I need to find a, I need to find a thistle bush, um, which is going to give me access to the thing. So I need to look for a... I need, what I need to look for is a purple flower. And there it is right over there. There's a purple flower right over there. There it is. The thistle bush is right here. So yeah, this we can actually we can actually chop up and harvest for a few things. So yeah, if I get my axe here, you'll see that we actually get some thistles. There we go. Sally says, uh, I've been so much since I last got to see you live. Well, tell, tell me about it, Sally. What's been, what kind of stuff's been happening? And of course, if you want to discuss it on the stream, if not, then well, you know, I'm always here to lend in here. Um, I've been through a lot as well. So yeah, like, like, life has uh, changed a lot. <laughs> for me especially, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of good and bad, so yeah, but yeah, pretty much today's the only day I've been able to kind of get back on stream, so there is uh, there is that as well. So yeah, I want to collect 30 of these, so just keep chopping the thorns and you collect them, and that's very cool. And then one more, 30. Hey, come here. Excellent. And look, we actually got another mutation, Cardio Fan, which is a really good one, and I definitely want that one. This guy makes you recover stamina faster. Now, the mutations are not like perks in the other games, like in the other survival games. You can only ever have three mutations active at one time. So you can't act you can't like get all the mutations and activate all of them. You have to choose three. You can deactivate them at any time if you wish to, though. So it's not like a permanent choice. But yeah, you have to kind of pick your mutations for the situations you're doing. And of course, because I'm doing a lot of uh, crafting and harvesting, the um, Cardio Fan mutation and the Natural Explorer one, uh, right now, at this point, perfect choices for me. So yeah, there is that. Okay, let's come over here again. And let's come back to base. There we go. So our base is looking pretty good right now. There we go. It says, um, I crashed the work van a week or two ago. Oh, wow. It says, uh, I agree. that It's been through a lot this year. Some good, mostly bad. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear you crashed the van, dude. Hope, hopefully you like, didn't get injured and stuff, though. So yeah, hopefully you're right. Uh, but yeah, that sounds like it was a bit of an ordeal. Okay, well, actually, you know, before I do that, let's go ahead and analyze these thorns, because that's going to be useful for a few things. And then I can get the other, I can get the other sap on the way by the baseball as well, so that's going to be a good thing. Because the sap does respawn, so we can go ahead and get that as well. So let's go ahead and analyze these. Uh, Tia says, uh, now I got charged 350 for it, though. Oh, well, yeah, that, I, I guess, um... As, wait, did they, did they not have insurance, though? Like, could, could insurance not cover that, like, if, if it was a company van? Would it not get charged on like a company insurance, and then you wouldn't have to really pay anything? I don't know. That's a that seems kind of, that seems kind of shady. Oh wait, I did get all these ones already. Okay, harder, I got them already. Harder, harder. Okay, never mind. Um, all right then. So let's go ahead and make our way back around here. Okay, there's an aphid. Dance of the aphids, the death of the aphids. All right, let's go back this way. Is uh, if it wasn't my fault, you don't pay it. Oh well, you, you could say it wasn't your fault. You, you just like it wasn't my fault that I wasn't keeping track of how much beer I was drinking. <laughs> it's like play my cousin <laughs> or, or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, he's just like that, that. That definitely wasn't my fault. Okay, 
Um, right, let's come back to base. And right, is there any other bits I need to build right now? There is not. Okay, so yeah, overall, yeah, we're doing we're doing really good right now. Um, so yeah, I need to go ahead and get a few things now. So one thing I want to do is get the sprig bow, and I want to get the spiky sprigs, um, which is a, a, a tier one club type weapon, which is really good. So let's get the mate first. We're gonna need those. Uh, there you go. And then I'm going to need some sprigs, of course, because, you know, it's not going to call the sprig bow for nothing. Um, yeah, and then we can get a couple of things. So, first of all, let's go to our workbench now. And uh, we're going to make... Yeah, so now this way you can make all the armor. So you can make the grub stuff, the acorn stuff, and this is all the tier 1 armor. Uh, Clover is technically not even a tier. That's like an untiered armor. Uh, put a nice dent in the back door. <laughs> so, oh, you're, you, you're reverted to an HGV. Oh, man. Yeah, I bet that, I bet that was a losing fight. <laughs> Okay, so the spiky sprig, what do I need for that? I need, okay, I need two crude grapes, there you go, so let's get the spiky sprig, because that's like a, that's like a club you can get, which is really nice, uh, then we're going to turn the rest of these into arrows, and I should have enough for this, although I do need to go and hunt more mites, I would have thought, there you go, so I've got 12 mite fuzz left, and then I should be able to get the sprig bow as well, with a couple more of these, okay, I need one, one more uh, crude rope, so let's go and get some fiber here, and that should be enough to get it. There you go. And then I can go get the sprig bow with that. And done. Excellent. So let's go ahead and equip the sprig bow for now into slot four. Because I don't really... I will need to get some more grub stuff at some point. But for right now, I can go into slot four. Um, and let's put everything else away that I don't need. So yeah, the sprigs, for example. The mite fuzz and the gnat fuzz can sit together up here. So yeah, keep those guys out of the way. I got some more plant fibers here, so they can go there. Uh, I got some pebbles right here, and then up here. What did I bring up here? Oh, quartzite. Yeah, I should probably put my quartzite in this one. So yeah, stuff to repair tools and armor with I can put in here. Um, now, I will keep my unused tools up in here, so I'm not going to use the spear anymore. I'm going to use the sprig now, because the sprig is a lot better um, and does a lot more damage. So I'm going to take my shovel out of the hotbar, put the spiky sprig on the hotbar. Look at that. We got a, uh, we don't, we don't have a, a thorny little club, and that looks really cool. Uh, it says, uh, blew the engine up my C70 turbo, so scrapped it due to COVID, the nice blue one. Oh, oh, dude, yeah, I remember you showing me pictures of that. It says, now I got the V70 estate, it looks like an unmarked police car. <laughs> well, that's, that's, you, you, you could prank people with that, that'd be fun, that'd be funny. Might, might be fun. Next minute, T a guy called TS gets arrested for just messing with people in general and just being a nuisance. <laughs> I just imagine that. Okay. There you go, so let's go ahead and eat that. And okay, I think that's pretty much everything I need to do. Oh yeah, put the sap away into the rare resources box as well. And yeah, some of this raw some of this spoiled meat has gotta go. Okay, you know what? Just so the ants don't attack my base. I'm going to leave all the spoiled meat down here, and if the ants come after it, then they come after it. And then at least it's not my base, right? So yeah, actually, this would be really useful as a, as a, a like a decoy barrel, just to keep food in there. Because um, yeah, as you can see, I've got like seven spoiled meat that I can just keep. I think spoiled meat should stack, though. That's, that's one thing I don't agree with. That's, that really should be able to be stacked. Because um, it's not like, it's not like with spoiled meat, like it's going to be used to, it's not like it's going to degrade anymore, if you know what I mean. So I, I really think that should stack. Anyway, now that we've got all that done, let's go and load our thing. And look, we got a spring row now. Haha, which is awesome. So the next thing I need to do then is go back to the oak tree. And we're going to go ahead and grab some more acorns. Because yeah, I want to, I want to get this uh, acorn and grab armor. Well, I'm not sure which armor I want. Do I want the acorn one or do I want the grub one? The acorn one is good because it gives you more health. The grub one gives you more stamina, pretty much. So it's kind of a, kind of a trade-off. I think the acorn one is better defensively, though. Can't have the word police on it, but I can have polite. You, you can, yes. No, you just put coffers. <laughs> you, 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 you just do that. Just put coffers on it. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay. Oh, oh, oh god. Okay, not good. Okay, I'm, I'm fighting all of you. Okay, I'm so dead. <laughs> okay. It's not good. Okay, this is not good. Okay, gotta try and block this guy. Okay, got it. Okay, oh, I stunned him. Okay, got it. Okay, oh, he's stuck in the mushroom. Okay, he's, he's stuck, he's stuck. Run, run, run. I got him stuck, I got him stuck. Okay. Oh, god, he's chasing me, he's chasing me. He's chasing me. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh! Oh, that was close, that was close, yeah. I, I'm not geared up to fight that guy yet. I'm not, I'm so not geared up to fight him. 
Oh, man. That was close. That was close. I did take a bit of damage, but... Oh. Okay, we had a lucky escape. Okay, okay, he's tra He's over there, right? Let's try and go around him. Yeah, so that was an orb weaver. We nearly died. <laughs> that was close. Uh, it says uh, it got, got to cost me around 3,000 to do. Oh, wow. Um, ice white with blue and yellow. And all the lights and, and sizes. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Okay, yeah, we are, ne we are definitely not ready to take... Once we get aqua armor, we'll be ready to take on these guys. But right now, we are nowhere near ready to take on a spider like that. I, w I was lucky I managed to, to block and run away. That was that was lucky lucky prediction right there. Okay, so yeah, the uh, I think there's another one around here. I'm hearing another one. I'm 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 scared now. I'm hearing another one. Man, that's that's two spider encounters that we've had and two surviving from that. That's actually quite impressive. Okay, so I need to get acorn tops and acorn things here. I guess I'll get some acorn bits as well um, as we go because I will probably need them as well. Okay, so let's go and get some more acorns here. Oh, there's some, uh, some water there. Look at that. Nice and dew from there, so I can definitely grab those. And I'll also get more sap from the tree as well, because, you know, that's always handy. There's an acorn top right there too. Excellent. But yeah, there's definitely some spiders around here that I've got to be wary of. So yeah, got to be super careful here. Man, that was, that was close though. Two spider encounters, no death so far. That was extremely lucky. But just, just you wait until we start having two spiders at once, or, or, or worse yet, two wolf spiders at once. That's like, that's pretty much, if you get two wolf spiders at once, you, you're you're as good as dead. <laughs> Even with the best armor in the game, you're as good as dead. Just says that, only because you ran away like a little girl, that's why you survived. Huh? Well, like they say, um, he who screams and runs away may live to scream another day. And that's just what happened, right? So yeah, we, we did alright. Yeah, we, we ran away. Yeah, if, if that had been on world difficulty though, I'm, I'm playing on medium difficulty, if I'd have been on the hardest difficulty setting, literally everything without armor can just one-shot you. Like, apart, the only things that can't is the mites and the workarounds, so every every bigger bug can just one-shot you at that point, which is really funny. So yeah, if I'd have been playing on world, that, that one spider bite would have killed me. So yeah, I was uh, very lucky. Yeah, I, I was lucky I managed to trap the spider in the mushrooms and just like run away. Yeah, he's uh, that's not, that's not going to be a feature for long though. And uh, it's, it's cliche. Yeah, it is a bit, it's a bit cliche. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm alive. <laughs> I value life. I, and uh, if cliche is what keeps me going, then then fine. I'll take that cliche. Okay, let's get this one and smash it up. Excellent. Yeah, I thought I, th I, th I, th I think that's good cliche though. You know, you know, if if I'm still alive, that's good cliche. And then everyone's like, no, it's, it's bad cliche. If you're still alive, that 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 that's what makes it worse. <laughs> okay, man, I can't believe I I can't believe I didn't got mauled by a friggin' orb weaver though. That was uh, that was that was horrible. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty horrible. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so let's go and get this acorn here. See, so yeah, we need a load of acorns for the armor and for the chests and things like that as well. So let's grab all those that we can. And I can also make sap collectors if I want to, and, and put them on the roots of the tree. And that gets you the, the the chance to get more tree sap as well, if you want it. So that's also a good thing. Okay, there's a workaround right there. Is there any more drops in the can? Oh yeah, there's two in here, look at that. Okay. I'm not thirsty, but I'll take one of them, because that'll actually heal my hunger a little bit as well. So Soda actually heals your hunger a tiny little bit as well. And it's like, yep, bad. <laughs> I, thought, I thought so. It, 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 everyone's like, if it's Max alive, then that's a bad thing. We like seeing him die. We like seeing bloodshed. Max bloodshed. We like we like that. <laughs> okay, and grab that. Grab that. Yeah. So I don't I don't need to worry about getting too many acorn bits. I just want to get a few here and there. But yeah, mainly the acorn tops and stuff is what I want, and the acorn sides, pieces and tops is what I'm after here. And if I happen to find other things, then I do. So it's all good. I wonder if I can find any more spiderweb down here as well, because I will need some soon. And quite soon, actually. There's some aphids here. I'm not going to kill them, because... Quite frankly, I have no room for the other stuff here. Okay. I wonder where that wall spider's at. Because it is around here somewhere. Okay, I have no reason to go back into the lab right now, because I didn't complete any quests yet, so that's fine. Let's see. An aphid right there. I'm not sure I know that guy. Okay. So let's go up this way. I think this is where the wall spider is up here, isn't it? He's up the top of this bit. 
Yeah, I have a feeling the wolf is up here behind. Here, maybe? Is this where he sleeps? Uh oh, the wolf spider's not here. Where, where is the wolf spider? Oh god. Okay, the, I think the wolf spider's probably hunting me. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, if the wolf spider's not in its sleeping spot, that means it's hunting you. Um, okay, I, I hear a sleeping old. Oh god, oh god, there it is, there it is, there it is. Um, yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's not fight that guy, because that's like instant death. Literally, even, even with the best armor. Wolf spiders can one-shot you. If they, if, they, if they land a successful jump attack, they will one-shot you. Okay, do I, do I dare get this acorn? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, okay. He's kind of he's kind of busy here. Okay, get that, get that. Okay, yep, sorry, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's, 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 let's get out of here. Okay. There's some aphid honey right there, very nice. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> let's just run. Let's just run and not fight the guy. Oh, actually, there's a spider web right there I can, I can harvest. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck in it. Oh, that's bad. I'm stuck in spiderweb. Okay. Oh god, that 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 wolf spider's gonna come. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, that's good. Oh, that was that was bad. I could I could have got stuck in spiderweb then. Okay, you don't get stuck in these bits though for some reason. So there's more aphid honeydew here. I'll go and collect that. Yeah, you can actually jump into it unless you get stuck in it. Okay, let's go and get rid of that. There you go. Okay, can I? Did I get rid of that now? Yeah. There you go, I got it. Okay, good. Alright, let's get out of here. There you go. Let's uh, let's just get out of here. Not tangle with the wolf spider today. And come back uh, come back another time. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. We'll come back another time. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's, let's, do, let's do that. Let's stay alive. <laughs> so many bugs. Oh, God. Okay, let's go back this way then. And how much room have I got? Okay, before I go then, I also want to go ahead over to this area. Before it gets too dark. And I want to harvest some flower petals from over here. Because flower petals are used in ladybug armor. And I may as well collect them now while I'm in this region. So I don't have to be like, oh, I uh, I didn't get any. And then have to come back, right? So I may as well do that. And get this on the go. So yeah, we do have to watch out for spiders in the area. There are some around here. They're literally like right over here. There are some spiders along the wall. But we should find in a minute some flower petals just laying down on the ground here. Hopefully. Okay, let's come up here. There's some nectar right here. Okay, are there no flower petals here? No, there are not. Okay, there's some spider webs over there. There is nectar here, though. We can use that as a food source. That's actually a good thing. So we'll definitely take that. Because, yeah, having um, portable food sources is a very good thing. But since there are no flower petals here, so maybe they didn't fall down yet, or maybe I have to, maybe I have to go up and, and get them. Okay, there's an orb over there. Right. Okay, back up this way. Stay behind the flower so he doesn't see me. Okay, yeah, there are no flower petals on the ground at the moment. Okay, so, unfortunately, I can't get flower petals yet because there are none to spare right now. Which kind of sucks, but there you go. We'll come back and get it another time. So, let's go back then this way. And yeah, I guess the next step now is to make the acorn armor, plus those other things that um, Burgle wanted me to make as well. Because I did need to get the clover stuff as well to complete two of the quests. Let's get some mushrooms all the way back as well, just so we have a little bit extra food. So yeah, overall though, I think we're doing pretty good here. We're like, uh, we're not doing too bad. And we're doing alright. So yeah, let's run back this way. It's very dark now, so that means the wolf spiders are going to be out soon. Very soon. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely at night time now. Yeah, the music's changed. Okay, wolf spiders are out hunting. I've got to get home. And fast. Okay, luckily I'm nearly back though. So that's a good thing. So yeah, let's not run into wolf spiders today. Let's try not to do that. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. So, something big. Something big is coming. Something big is coming. Okay. Um, go this way. Go, I don't know what it was. Let's go this way. Okay. Go under the juice box. So if whatever's like following me it comes that way, it'll get stuck. Okay. Go. 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 Yeah. I had. I had something big coming through the grass, and I was like, I'm like, nope. 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 Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Dodge it. Run. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get home. Look, there's our base, and you can see all the way from over here. That's very nice. You can see the, you can see the light from the inside as well. That is awesome. Alright, let's get home. Oh, let's go ahead and just sleep the night out. Hey, I'm gonna 
Oh, there we go. That was lucky. Yeah, because you don't want to be hunted by wolf spiders. They wake up like at dusk and they start hunting, and then yeah, if you, if you die, things just get very bad very quickly. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put some stuff away. Uh, actually, I can eat some of this. Um, I can eat some of this stuff, right? Because I don't need this to keep me going. See, so, yeah, let's go and do that. This will actually help with the food and water, so we can go ahead and drink the nectar as well. There we go. See, let's see, we're living like a bug right now. We're, we're drinking nectar and eating, eating aphid poo. <laughs> so yeah, pretty. It's a, it's a thug life. It's bug life. <laughs> it's like li literally. Um, okay. So what else do I have here? So I've got acorn tops. Okay. I don't need the acorn tops right now. They can come back into my rarer plants materials. I do need the acorn pieces though, so I will take those. I think I need some sap still, so I'll keep that. So let's go and look how I make the acorn armor. So I think for that, I'm also going to need some crude ropes as well, which I don't really have many of right now. Let me have a look here. So for the acorn armor, the workbench gear right now, I require mite fuzz. Uh, yeah, mite fuzz and crude rope. Okay, so we do have mite fuzz. That's fine. So we've got plenty of it right there. The other thing I need is crude rope. So we're going to have to go ahead and source some plant fibers and turn them into crude rope. Now it takes, right now, it takes three plant fibers per crude rope that you craft. But later on, uh, when we get the spinning wheels, which as soon as I get acorn armor, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because um, you have to kill a load of ants to do it. But when you get the spinning wheels, um, it only takes one. It takes a bit of time though, so I'm going to have to set up like five or six of them. But then it becomes a lot easier just to set the, set the, the fibers on it walk away and do something else, kind of just forget about it, and then you come back and then you have some crude rope already made up for you, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, there's there's some very good things um, to do with that as well. So let's go ahead and look for some um, plant fibers around here. There's a ladybug over there. Okay, let's make sure it's not going to attack me. Sometimes I've actually been killed by a ladybug attacking something else, and I just happened to be in its path before. So they're, they're, ge they're gentle giants, but they can they can immediately kill you if you're, if you're like too close, and you just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So you do have to be a little bit careful. There's really not any plant flowers around here, is there? There's a couple of bits, but not much. Okay. Let's see, there's some over here usually, or pet there's there's that or pebblets around here. There's a plant over there. Okay, let's go up here back to where my base is at. Okay, you know what? I need to get rid of some of this grass anyway. So I may as well chop this down and get the extra fibers from these. Because I, I, I want to have all this area cleared up anyway. So you know what, sell it, let's just get rid of this grass. Because each piece of that will give me like three, between three and five, so that's really good. So let's go do that. We should be good. There you go. There you go. And if we get rid of all this grass, it'll make it very bright in this area. Plus, we can always make a, a grass pallet to store it on when we need it later as well, so that's always good. There you go. Oh, there's a bit there. Very nice. Okay, just throw that over there, I don't need that. Stupid, stupid grass. Okay, now we're good. So now I should be able to craft enough crude rope to make the acorn armor. So how many bits do I need? So I need th three for this. And then I can craft the, the face mask. Then for this one, I need four. Okay, maybe I won't have enough. I also need clover for that as well. So I need four for that. And then for the leg ones, I also need four. Okay, so I still need to get a few more. So I need some clover. So let's go and get some of those. I need six clover for this. There you go. So let's get a couple of bits of clover here. Very nice. And another one. And we can go from there. So grab those ones. Uh, Tia says, I uh, had enough of... Uh, Tia says, uh, sorry, I went AFK. Had to move some stuff so I can actually use my PC for gaming and not Netflixing. Had enough of Netflix and chill. Oh, oh really? Had enough of Netflix and chill? Hmm, well. <laughs> Man, sounds like things are, sounds like things aren't so good. <laughs> okay, let's go go grab this and some more clover. Okay, I I, I shouldn't laugh. That's that's a horrible thing to laugh at, but still, just 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 the way you say it, dude. It, it, you set yourself up for that one. <laughs> and, you're, and he's probably like, dude, I totally know I set myself up for it. The fact that you said I was set up for it just ruins the entire thing. Max, you suck, you nerd. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. Get some more stuff and let me see. More plant fibers and sprigs and stuff and things are going to be needed for my endeavors. So let's grab some more. But yeah, cannot wait to get these spinning wheels, though, guys. That's gonna be, that's gonna be literally the, the MVP, I guess, of the of the stream is getting those things. 
It's gonna be very nice. But yeah, I still still can't believe I survived some spider attacks. Like, uh, I I can't believe I've actually been able to outrun the spiders. That's the thing. Usually you can't. Like they once they set eyes on you, they would just come for you and come for you and come for you until one of you dies. It pretty much becomes like a death match. But the spiders and you are the competitors in the in the arena of death, and yeah, then it just becomes terrible. <laughs> okay, so craft. We need to get some more of these. I need two more plant fibers, and then we have everything we need to craft the armor. Just two more guys. We're almost there. Oh, there's some um, probably what bottled water is. liquid like there. <laughs> this is what pro she says. This is probably what bottled water is. Yeah, yeah, because you know pe people go around collecting tiny little drops of dew. I'm making that into bottled water and selling it. Maybe, yeah, maybe she's right. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, now I can go ahead and do this this last bit, and then we should be good. All right. Uh, Tia says, "I know that's why I said that it won't be server, and I won't be online much." <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and craft the last bit then. So we need to get one more of these, and then we can do the chest plate, and then we can do the armor. There we go. Excellent. And now, guys, we have it. Acorn armor. Now, unfortunately, the armor doesn't come out of your equip slots when you equip it. It kind of stays in your bag. So it does take up three extra slots to have armor, unfortunately. But, you know, that's just something we have to deal with right now. Um, apparently, in a future update, they do want to they do want to change that so that it can be it can be um, taken out from your backpack, which would be very nice. I hope they get that change done quite soon, because that would be very nice if we can do that. Okay, so we got that one, that one. Now, let me get my armor kind of in the bottom corner here so I can see it better. And then I know what's equipped. So we haven't equipped the leg armor, so let's equip that one. Excellent. And there you go, guys. I'm now a giant walking acorn. How cool is that? <laughs> Yay! But yeah, the um, the acorn armor is actually really good, though, because um, it pretty much allows you to resist a lot of damage, and it gives you a health boost as well, which is, again, very nice. Right, so now we got that. Um, the next thing I need to do is look at making smoothies because yeah we're gonna need to we're gonna need to like start up in our game here guys um with this and smoothies are a good way to do that because they pretty much give you access to like in instant heal which is really good so yeah smoothies made out of whatever is a very good thing so you can make them just out of any three ingredients but if you mix a certain a certain few ingredients together you can actually get some really good effects as well as a health boost so for example the one i'm gonna go for is going to require a ton of clover, a ton of plant fibers, and a ton of sprigs. But it's going to be—it's actually going to give me a buff called hyper stamina. And what that does is it means my stamina recovers extremely quickly uh, when I'm in combat, which is a very, very handy thing um, for sure. So I definitely want to do that. Um, let me just check that the ants didn't go for the rotten meat in here. If they didn't, I'm going to put my acorn bits in there as well, or at least a stack and a bit of them, just to kind of clear out my inventory a little bit. Let's see. They didn't go. There, there were no ants that went for the rotten meat here. Okay, so I guess I'll keep that in here. And put those there. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah, I was going to get some quartzite as well. I kind of got distracted there, but there you go. Kind of the typical me thing. That's fine by me, though. So let's get some clover. So yeah, what I need to do, I need to get this amount of materials. I need 40 clover, 40 plant fibers, and 40 sprigs. That's that's the materials I need, and then I can make 40 smoothies. Um, there you go. Tia says, uh, went to the flat yesterday, walked in, I went in it, and uh, walked back out. It's not even big enough for a cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that yeah? Those really tiny apartments. They're like, oh, you had to pay premium rent to stay here, and this is like, okay, no, <laughs> goodbye. Thank you. Come again. Okay, is there another net around it? Oh, what a shot! I got him straight away. Wow. Okay, that was that, that was good. Okay, get this guy on here. He's got some roast here. I guess I'll take off this roast and just eat it. There you go. Because that'll stop my hunger and thirst going down so quickly. So that's very handy to have. Okay, so let's get out all the sprigs and saps and plant fibers that I have so far, just so I know how many I have, and then that kind of gives me an idea. Okay, so so far we have, um, so I think we got 12 clover so far, we've got 20 centimeters, okay, so it's, ma it's mainly plant fibers that's going to be our issue. Okay, that's fine. So we should be able to get this done, because yeah, then, then I can get the smoothies, and then we'll be ready to start taking on some of the tougher opponents. Um, like the spiders, for example. I'll probably start with the ladybugs first and work my way up to tier 2 armor, but yeah, we're going to need to take on ladybugs and ants are our next target, pretty much. Um, spiders, I usually like to wait until we get the tier 2 armor, because those guys are, like, exceptionally tough. But yeah, it should be fine either way. Ladybugs are also very tough uh, defensively, though, so you do have to be kind of careful with that as well. Okay, so I've got, yeah, 11 plant fiber, so we definitely need to up the game with the plant fiber here. Same with the clover. Sprigs were quite ahead on at the moment, so that's fine. 
plus I do know an area where you can get like a ton of sprigs as well. So if we ever are short of sprigs, there's one area in particular on the map that has like literally you, you can get like a hundred of them, uh, all all in one area, which is really good. Let's go and grab that one. Okay, here we go. Now let's go and grab those. Excellent. So there's some more aphids kind of just in the area, but that's fine. So let's go and get these ones. There you go. No, that, that clover just didn't want to get chopped down, did it? There we go. It says, literally, only room for a bed and one person. Couldn't even have the girlfriend around it, there's not enough room. And they wanted 735 a month! Ah! What? What? Are you, are you running like in London or something? Jesus! That's like... That's ridiculous! That is insane, no way! What one tiny ass bedroom, and um, they want 735 for it? No, no, <laughs> you you have to stuff it with a sundown giant, I think. Yeah, you don't you, <laughs> you can't you can't justify that, Jesus. 735 of all the things. Oh okay, yeah, here's a bedroom that's just big enough for you to lay in it. Yeah, we want that. Yeah, nah, nah. You can get like you can get like a fully furnished double bed one in Southampton for like 700 a month. Like like two bedroom, two double bedroom. No, Ken, I think to, I think to to think what London wanted. Well, yeah, okay, so Ken's pretty expensive as well. No, I was gonna say like uh, yeah, flats and apartments in like Southampton, which is where I used to live. They're like they they can be quite expensive as well, but like literally they're a lot they're a lot cheaper than that, and you get a lot more for the money. I mean, damn. Ken, so so Ken's like a really expensive place then. That is, that is insane. Okay, let me get a bit of quartz sake, because I need that to repair my axe with, so let's go do that. So, repair you. Thank you very much. Yeah, see, this is why I want a quartz sake. And there are stupid gnats around here now. I hear it. He's, he's like, he's like, <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna find you. I, I'm gonna find you, gnat, and when I do, when I do, you're gonna regret it. You're gonna, regret, you're gonna rue the day that I find you. Okay. Uh, so I've got 35 clear of these, so I need that's 7, I literally need one more chopping down, and that's it. There you go, 38, 39, 40, okay, so we're now up to par on clover leaves, good. So now it's just the sprigs and the plant fibres. So sprigs I'm at 32, plant fibres I'm at 24. Okay, so need to start looking very carefully for the fibres now, and go from there. There's a couple of sprigs over here too, so let's go and grab those. Three plant fibres together there, very nice. Yeah, so it's five is I'm now at 27. Okay. Here's some over here. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. There you go. That was a good little boost. 34. Okay, so we're doing pretty good there. 35, 36, 37. I wish you could chop up like grass planks into plant farm as well. That'd be really nice. Um, so sprigs now at 35. So now I also need to get sprigs. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. So let's see. Is there any more around here? I don't hear any. I don't hear any. What? What? I, I, I'm hearing insects. I'm like, no, I don't. I, I'm thinking like of something completely different. Like, yeah, I don't hear any. So there's should be some flowers up here, maybe, and some sprigs. There's one. There's pebbles around here as well, but I don't need those. There we go. That one and that one. Okay, so now I'm at 40. So literally, I need four more sprigs, and I'm done. Okay, there's one, three to go, two to go. Okay, come on. There's got to be. There's got to be a couple more around here somewhere. Come on, Sprigs, where you at? Reveal your, reveal yourself. And Sprigs is like, no, we ain't revealing anything. Okay, so Tia says, uh, I was shocked. And, uh, no thanks, bye. I can get an entire ground floor flat at six hundred and nine, all bills included. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Uh, and went, uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, no thanks, bye. Yeah, I don't blame you. Like honestly, that is like super expensive. And that, yeah, that, the asking price for that is just like nah. You, you, you just, no, I, I don't know, but, but you know you know what the sad thing is though, if someone is actually justifying charging that much rent for it, that means there is some sad muppet out there who would pay that much for it. You know what I mean? And that's that's a, that's a shame. I feel I feel bad for I feel bad for that person that actually went and paid that much to live in a place like that. That's that that must have been horrible. Yeah. Is that lava coming? No, okay. I thought I thought I had some lava coming to the base. I was like, oh god. I, was like, I, was like, I don't I don't want to fight lava yet. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna make a smoothie called the green machine, and this is the easiest one to make. You get plant fiber, you get clover, and you get a sprig, 
and then you unlock the green machine. Look at that. So this is awesome. So now I'm going to go ahead and queue up all of these. So epilepsy warning. <laughs> so yeah, there's a seizure warning right there. Okay, and let's keep going. So let's go ahead and add all the ingredients in. And this will make me a ton of smoothies. There we go. And cancel. And cancel that. There we go. There you go, and now we got 40 smoothies. Now the smoothies are really good, I will probably spam them a lot because yeah, they're, they're pretty much free healing and they heal you instantly, so you know, that, that's good. Uh, let me kind of align all the smoothies on the on the bar here as well and put the nat fuzz away. Put your fuzz away! <laughs> sounds sounds, sounds like wrong. <laughs> it's like, it's like that scene in Harry Potter, put that light out. <laughs> but, but for me it's like, put that fuzz away. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now we got 60 arrows, and we're we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so here we go, guys. Now I have acorn armor. That's looking good. My next target is to make some spinning wheels. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and get them in place, and then we're going to see what we need to do. So we need some spinning wheels here. So we can. I want to make four of these things. I think uh, if we can, maybe maybe more than that. But let's see. So we can do one. Actually, maybe if I do them like this, actually, this is this is this is gonna be better. Hang on, it's gonna be better if I do it this way. Yeah, much better if I do it this way. So there's. Now let me kind of do it so I can rotate them that way. That's gonna be easier. Okay, yeah. So this the spinning wheels are very nice things to have, and we're gonna need a lot of these. So we can do one, two. And am I coming out from the wall a bit? I don't know. So I can do three. And I can kind of turn them this way. I think I want to get. I think I want to get f six of these because usually I've gone with four, but I think six is a better number to go with. So it's kind of come this way a bit, and then go that way. Four. Uh, here we go. Five. Six. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and build all these. So for these, we need acorn tops. And luckily, I have a load of these, so we can put all the acorn tops in right now. And get those started, but yeah, we're gonna to want to load these because this will allow me to turn uh, fiber into rope much easier. Um, there you go. And uh, it is as uh, you're supposed to give the warning before, not after. No, not. Well, <laughs> where, where'd you hear that rule, TS? Yes, huh? I don't have to do that. What are you, what are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, the other thing I'm gonna need is clay as well, so I'm gonna to need to go find some of that soon. Um, okay, I need more acorn tops, so I just need two more of those, and then I'm pretty much gonna have to go through all the sap here. To get us to work, so one. So let's get all the sap out of the way here. Now I need crude rope and parts and clay. Okay, so yeah, I need to find some more sap and then get some crude rope and parts and clay in clay. So yeah, we need to we need to hunt some ants, guys. We need to go find some ants and kill them. Now, luckily, worker ants are very easy to kill, so that's not really going to be a problem. If we run across a soldier ant, it might be a bit of a different story. However, I do want to hunt soldier ants primarily because we can actually get a better club from doing that so that's gonna be a good thing um and before i go i should probably make a torch shouldn't i that might be a might be a plan uh because yeah we're gonna be going into the anthill or into the smaller of the two anthills i should say not going to definitely not going in the bigger one yet you need uh you, you want to go in the bigger anthill you need the you need the tier two armor before you, you before you even dream of doing that so yeah let's uh let's go ahead and see what we can do here so let's grab I need a couple of bits of sap here I need two of these. I need a couple of bits of dry grass and some crude rope, and we should be good. But yeah, this is exactly why I want to sp set up the spinning wheel because literally the um, the crude rope and everything is such a big resource drain. You know what I mean? So once we start getting more plant fibers without the that need, it's going to be a lot easier. So I need three dry grass, and then I need just some regular old plant fibers, and then we should be good. And I should have everything I need to make it. So I think I can get one crew right now. So let's go to the torches, which is going to be this guy. And I need, yeah, I need one more crew rope, and then we're good. And I can craft a torch. And I can go to the abandoned ant hill, which we discovered earlier on, and then have a look down there. It says, uh, Where would you be without me? Uh, bursting of all this TS. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd, probably, I'd probably have a lot bigger walls. <laughs> There's, there's, there's me outside the hospital. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Um, right, so is that one? Is that one? Right, now can I do it? Can I get one more now? No, I still need one more. One more plot over. There it is, right there. Okay, craft this thing. Hey, come, come, come here. Let me move the mouse. My mouse is frozen. There we go. One and done. One thing that you know, the one thing that sucks though, when well, your mouse freezes in combat. That sucks. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We have to go now over to here where the triangle is. That's the abandoned anthill. So pretty much follow this route. I'm gonna come back by, past the puncher, which is actually a good thing because my character is thirsty. So hopefully there's a, a drop right here. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. So I have to put my um, I have to put my thing here. Actually, let me kind of put this here for later later reference, so that then in the future it can catch the drops automatically. So yeah, I can kind of recycle this real quick. Um, pick up everything here. I don't get everything back. I just get like a few things back, but then I can go ahead and kind of start that. I just need two more acorn shells and a crude rope, and I can finish that off. And I will do just fine. I can go ahead and probably get that stuff when we need to. So yeah, I'm pretty much now going in the right direction. So yeah, let's go. And hopefully this time not run into a spider. Although if I do now, I'm much better prepared. And there's, there's no other girlfriend who don't have any balls in the world. That's not true. I still have some. I, I, I still I still got I still got one out of three. <laughs> okay, oh, I just had a workaround. Where are you? There you go. Right, so yeah, workarounds are really easy to kill because you literally go up to them, you hammer them in the head, and then they get stunned. Like instantly. There you go. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect block you, and then okay, and then we got to switch to the first weapon. Okay, and he's gonna run off because he's been damaged a bit. Okay, go on. Okay, let's just go and hammer this guy in the head. There you go. And before you can attack me, there we go. Stun him. One and two. Nice. And this guy, stun him as well. And one more hit. Done. Very nice. Cool. That works for me. Maybe the spiky sprig will actually be a good thing for these guys as well. Let's see. Okay. Oh, there's an aphid right there. Goodbye, Mr. Aphid. You will not be missed. Okay, I hear another worker around over here. Yeah, so yeah, we need to kill. We need to start killing all the worker ants around this area. Because this is where the anthill is, so we're going to find a few. Okay. Oh! Two more aphids, thank you. Food for me. Okay, so this guy needs to... There you go, kill that guy. Very good. And he's out too. Very nice. So we now have five end parts. I need a total of 24, I believe, to do what I want to. Plus a couple more for the club as well. So yeah, we need actually quite a few. Alright, so from here, where is the end hill? Um, we have... Okay, we've got to turn this way. Okay, we're going completely the wrong way. That's, that's to totally a me thing. Okay, so yeah, we got we got room for ant parts and stuff, and acid glands and all that stuff, because we're going to need those. Okay, so the ant hill is, I think, just around, just around here, right? Alright, here we go. Into the ant hills. Turn the torch on. Get smooth down our throat. Okay. Let's see if we find any worker ants down here. There's one right here. Okay. Use that guy, and then just club it to death. Why are you not swinging, you fool? There you go. Okay, he's going to run off. Yeah, unfortunately the club, you can only use one handed weapons here. Okay, get them both. There you go, keep him stunned. And he's gonna run off. Okay, yeah. He's gonna run off like a coward. Got him. There you go. So yeah, good thing that the hammer just stuns the ants immediately. But very soon he's gonna lead, it's gonna lead me to a soldier ant in a minute. Okay. Yeah, he's trying he's, he's trying to lure me further in so that the soldier ant can kill me, because there's a soldier ant like just down here. Okay. Now this guy is going to be in a lighter area, so I'm going to take him on with a bow. Could be a lot easier to see. Where is he? Usually he comes down this area. But I don't see where he's at right now. Okay, hang on. Send this on. Where are you, soldier? Oh, I think he's around the corner. Okay, hang on. Come up here. Where is he? I hear him! There he is. Now let's go ahead and try and shoot this guy. Yeah, he's 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 like he's like what's shooting at me? He does not see me yet. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot the soldier ant and kill him from a distance. Because these guys, I don't really want to take on if I can avoid it. Where'd you go, Mr. Ant? There you go. Okay, he's in the he's in the background over there. My arrows point out to where he is, which is nice. Okay, let's go ahead and 
Trevor Princess Garfield. He's all the way in the distance over there, so. Not very easy to spot, but I'm getting him. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna come down here, let him kind of run around here. Okay. Come down here. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got him! Very nice. Yeah, the soldier and did a little bit of damage to you, but there we go. Right now, you gotta pick up all our arrows. Scooty, that's so there's one soldier and down, which is very, very nice. I'll definitely take that. There are two more soldier ants in here, though, that we're gonna have to watch out for. So, yeah, that's the thing. Um, okay, so that's one soldier ant out. But yeah, you, as you can see, you have to sink a lot of arrows into the tougher bugs to kill them. The, sol the soldier ant is actually one of the weaker of the tougher bugs. Like, they're not, they're not very strong. They're strong in numbers, but other than that, they're not very strong together. So, yeah. So, the next thing I wanna do. Is we're going to sneak down here. There's two more soldier ants up here. I just need to get one of their attention, not both of them. If I get both their attention, I'm going to die. I need to get one of their attention. And they're up here. There he is, right over there. There you go. Let's go ahead and just start shooting these guys from a distance. I can see them in the distance right there, so try and finish these guys off. Right, so far he's not coming to me, which is a good thing. Let me stand and recover a bit. Okay, there we go. So yeah, he's, in the, he's right in the distance over there, which is cool. And uh, we're slowly but surely finishing him off. So it wouldn't take long. But yeah, there's two of them over here, so I've got to be a bit careful. Okay, there you go, there's one down. Okay. And here's the other one. I think he's stuck. But let's go ahead and just get a little bit of chip damage first. And then we should be good. I think I hear a regular end coming in as well. Yeah, he's like right in the distance over there, so let's just pick him off here. Okay, almost done. And Tia says, you mean they're not very strong at once when they're not together? Yeah, when they're not together, they're not that strong. But when they are together, then yeah, it's a different story. Okay, there we go. Let's get these uh, things here. There you go, so we got um, we got a total of three ant mandibles from all these guys, which is very good. That's going to be enough for me to make my next tier ant club, which is going to be very nice. Let's get all these arrows from killing these guys. Very good, look at that. Perfect. Nice. So yeah, took zero damage, just picked him up and sniped him. And now, this is where we were before, up in the top section there. You can't get back up to it from here, but you actually find a scabby down here, which will give you access to more of the uh, GUI's changes. So if you want any different looks on your hotbar or anything like that, then you can do that. But that's all I needed to come and go here for, was for the ant parts. So, so far I have 14 ant parts, so we're still 10 short, so... This anthill provided me quite a good amount, but still not quite enough to get what I need to do. So let's get out of this anthill. We've got to come up this way and then kind of shimmy through the roots here. Okay, actually, kind of, yeah, I've got to kind of shimmy around here. Yeah, a little bit difficult to get out this way, but it's not too bad. Let's see if I find any more ants around the area. Because, yeah, around the anthill, we should find some more. Just kind of hanging around on the outside, but yeah, this is the abandoned anthill. This is uh, this is just home to a couple of uh, a couple of ants. Not very many, though. Alright, it is night time now. Oh, this is the thing that's been moving around up there. Okay. Yeah, we need to get home and sleep. Because if we don't, we are going to... We're going to suffer. <laughs> We're going to get hunted by a wolf spider if we don't. And yeah, wolf spiders can actually go across the entire yard. They, I think they've nerfed the range that they hunt a bit more recently, but still. I still don't want to risk it, you know what I mean? So we're going to play a bit safe and just go home. I think I hear another worker around here. Because why I just had one. Hmm, I don't know either. Okay, let's let's just head home for now. I will come back later. Okay, so there's our little house over there. So let's jump across the mysterious machine and then let's get to it. Excellent. All right, Tia says, uh, yeah, not not strong ones, so not the other. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm caught up on chat. Yay! That's awesome. Right, let's go up here. Right, let's go ahead and put what end parts we do have on some of these. There's some. Um, Right there. Yeah, I still need to dig some clay, but there we go. We got some there, and now we're in a good position where we can just go ahead and sleep. Anyone else tired? Excellent. Me. All right, so now it is the morning. Excellent. And let's go ahead and so eat, drink, and be merry. And there we go. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, we now need to go ahead and hunt for more ants. So let's turn off the torch because I don't want that to run out of durability. Because yeah, torches have a limited uh, limited burn time in this game. It's not actually quite so easy. 
Okay, so then the other thing we need to do, what I should probably do is make one of those machines completely first and then start turning the things into the crude rape as well. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so let's go and do some more of these. One, two, th three, four. Let's get all the plant fibers that we can find in the area. And let's see if we can find some more ants around here. And of course, more sprigs will be good as well because we're going to need them eventually. There's, there's an ant right there. Hello. There you go. And then switch out. And then one, two, three. Done. There you go. Okay, one end part from him. Very nice. Let's see if I can find any more here. There's a ladybug over there. Okay, here's another ant right here. Okay. Come on, you. There you go. And then let's just use the... I also just use the axe on this guy. Very good. Okay. So he's out as well. So now I got uh, three ant parts total. Very good. Okay, so slowly but surely we're building up our stock of ant parts. Uh, but yeah, I need to find some clay. Um, now the place you find clay is all the way over here. So yeah, we're going to have to make our way over there. So yeah, while I'm looking around for that, I'll make my way over here and try and dig some clay. Oh, look, actually. Oh, all weaver. Actually, I might be able to take him down now. Yeah, I might be able to take the old weaver down. But for now, let's put the shovel here and dig out some of this clay because I'm going to need it. And just kind of watch for this old weaver. I think there's actually several over here, so I'm going to have to be a little bit mindful of that. So hopefully he doesn't come this way. Ooh, okay. Stay back a minute. Stay, okay, go. Okay. Okay, I think that guy's attention. Right, get some clay here. Okay, there's six. Okay, there's another bit of clay right here. Oh god, and there's more spiders coming. Okay, yeah, I think I think the spiders can like can sense that I'm around here. That's not good. Okay, let's get some more here. Yeah, unfortunately the shovel is actually quite a slow dig. But I think all I need to find is four clay nodes and we should be fine. Is there any more around here? Because yeah, clay you can kind of find like in the in the little deep water sections here. But other than that, I don't think there is any. Okay, no, there's none. Okay, let's head back then. At least I can use some of that to build the uh, machine as well. And then I can start processing up some of this stuff. Uh, and then I'll have to go a little bit further afield for the rest of the clay. So yeah, quite dangerous, like, getting clay. I think there's actually some as well. There's another little pond over this direction as well. I think there's some in it. I think there might be. Hang on. I think it's just over here. There's a bit more clay in this general area. Hang on. Let me have a look. Is there any down here? Um, some dandelion tusks, but I'm not worried about those. There's, there's usually some clay around here as well, I think. Hmm. I guess not. No. Okay, no clay around here. Okay, well that's fine. I guess I'll just try and build one for now, and then get that working to then build the others. Uh, it's Spidey Sense is tingling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the Spidey Sense is tingling. Okay, let's go and get some more plant fibers from down here. There's some more aphids just like kind of hanging around. Yeah, the aphids seem to be like spawning in like really glitchy areas for some reason. I have no idea why. But oh well, not my problem. Okay, so let's go and get some of these done. So we're going to put some clay on that. So it takes four clay each. Okay. And each of these just requires some crude ropes to finish now, which is good. So let's go uh, craft. And then we can go for crude rope here. So I can get three so far. I need one more plant fiber. Okay, so let's go and find one more plant fiber. Actually, I'll find as many as I can. What, what did I just go over there? Was that a plant fiber I just kicked over there? Yeah, it was. Okay, but yeah, once I've done that, then I can show you how the spinning wheel works, because the spinning wheel is actually a really awesome thing. Um, and that allows you to exchange stuff at a 1 to 1 ratio rather than a 3 to 1, which is much more efficient. Like, is is so much more efficient, it's not even funny. Okay, so let's get a few more of these from around here as well. Is there clay down here? Oh yeah, look, there's a bit of clay right there. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get some clay here. So a little bit of clay in this area. Let's go and grab some of that then. Perfect. Okay, there's probably some mites in the area that are wanting to uh, kill me too, but there we go. There's two of the clay. Where'd, they go? Where'd the rest go? There go, three, four. I still need... Uh, there should have been six here. Yeah, I probably lost it. Oh, we have uh, mites coming. Okay. That mites down. Very good. Plot five right here. Okay. Alright, here we go. There you are. 
Okay, mice out there. Very good. There's a mite kind of stuck under here. Sucks for you, mate. Haha. Oh. There's one here. Hey, come here. Get out of my face. Oh, you tried to land on me. Well, you failed, didn't you, mate? Did you, Mr. Mate? Yeah, you did. Haha. No mite for you. Okay. So the mighty might have. How the mighty have fallen. <laughs> there we go. Um. Uh, so it says go back to the clay, the clay the one you thought had no clay, had clay. Okay, hang on, I'm going to go back to that area now. I'm going to go back here anyway, so that is fine. Let's see. Let's come over this way. Let me just go and put some more of the stuff in here. Finish off one of these at least. Okay, and I still need the crude rope. That'll help. Uh, crude rope, done. Okay. And now what we can do is I can go ahead and literally just dump all my fibers on here. And it'll start spinning these up into crude rope for me while I go off and do other things. Look at that. Awesome. So that's one of them. I just make the others a lot easier to build. So let's come back down here. So we were back down in this direction, I believe. So let's go and have a look and see where there was clay. It was around this area somewhere, I think. Let me have a look. Clay, clay, clay. Clay, 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 clay. Any clay. There's some fibers. Let's see. Oh yeah, I need to drink as well, by the way, so let's actually quickly do that. Go over here, and let's uh, consume some liquid. Okay. Wait, is there any liquid here today? Or did it kind of drop down here? Oh, there is no liquid here today! Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait, there it is. It's kind of just dropped out the end here. Wait, I hear a worker in. Where are you? Where are you? I hear you. There you are! Hello, worker in. There you go. Very nice. Thank you very much for your parts. That's uh, always good. Okay, let's go back to this area then and see if I can find any additional stuff. Alright, so back over here. So apparently there was some around this area, so I saw a red patch around here. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can find any. Hmm, red patch. There's a snail shell. I do not see the patch of red for which you speak. Hmm. Let's come back over this way. Oh wait, no, we're getting the spider character this way. We don't want to go that way. Okay, that's, that's spiders over there. Let's go this way. Back to this source over here. Yeah, so yeah, clay's like dotted around the map, but it has a tendency to kind of spawn together over there. Okay. There's a gnat after me. Sounds like it. Okay, so... Apparently there's a patch of red around this area. Did we find one? If not, I can just go further afield on the map. It's not a problem. Hmm. Are you sure? Are you sure it wasn't that thing you saw earlier over there? Maybe that thing, I don't know. Because I'm not seeing anything that... At least I'm getting plant fibers, that's a good thing. So, so it's good. Hmm. No red around here, it would seem. Hmm. No, I don't think there is. That says one further away over here. I don't know. No, I don't think there is any in this area. As far as I can see. Hmm, there you go. So it uh, might, might have been the, the snail shell. Yeah, I, th I think it might have been. So I do not see any right now. I see some dry grass in there, but no clay. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to go and find someone else. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way back then. Add some more construction to the spinning wheels, and we should be good. Okay, so I get sap and all that good stuff as well as we go. Because, yeah, now I can do things one-to-one. -one. It's going to be good. But the, I, the reason I make so many of these is because, although it does do it one-to-one, -one, it does it slowly. So you want to make a load of these just to have it do it quicker. See? And look, there's a crew right there. See? And we can just pull it off the bottom. And keep up another one. But right now I can't because my inventory is full. So, yeah, there, there is that. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do that. And anything else I can add on here? Yeah, I can add one over there. There you go. And I can just start queuing these up again. Very good, and then I can start adding these. And okay, so yeah, this will now start producing crude ropes, and then I'll make that one. Then those two will start producing crude ropes for these, right? So it's uh, kind of a, a, a nice little cycle of uh, a nice cycle of awesome source. Okay, so yeah, I definitely need to go and analyze some stuff though. I need to analyze the ant head and all that stuff, and then I, then I can probably look at include improving my club as well. Hang on, give me that. Give me that stuff. There you go. I need that. Thank you. Yeah, let's go and do some analysis on the other stuff we got. And then we'll see what we can do over there. Uh, Tia says, "Yeah, might might have been the uh, might have been the snail shell. Yeah, I think I think it was probably the snail shell." Um, okay, 
let's go over here and we're gonna go ahead and analyze now the ant mandibles which I think gives us the soldier ant head mount yep and we can we can even get a stuffed soldier ant that's really cool uh, this right here I think gives us bug rubber yes it does and then this one right here the ant head I think gives us an ant head mount and the ant head armor as well ant work head mount cool so yeah, if you want to if you want to mount the heads of creatures on the wall you can do that that's a pretty cool thing, but yeah, let's go and see what else we can do then. So yeah, I need to find more clay. So, just trying to think, is there any right around here though? There could be, there could be some in this area. I don't think there is, but sometimes there, sometimes things can surprise you. <laughs> sometimes, uh, but no, I don't think we're gonna have any luck around here. Unfortunately, okay, can I get out of this rock? Can I let me out of the rock. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Get to get to my house from the back route. Okay, so let's come over here. Jump on in here, and let's go ahead and really quickly put some stuff away that I don't need right now. So yeah, I don't need the acid lands at all. Um, this aphid I can put on the on the fire and roast that. I think some of this meat's gone off though and spoiled, which is fine. Uh, yeah, let's put some aphids on here. Get those to go in. Let's get the net roast, and I can just eat that straight up. Wherever that went. Uh, here we go, net roast. Let's go ahead and just consume it. That help with the hunger. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, that's awesome. Um, so now, let's go ahead and put all my things that are made from bug away. Actually, you know what, I'll have this one in the back here can be rare bug parts, because the ant heads are actually a lot rarer to get. Um, so yeah, so ant heads, acid glands, that's not so common either. So yeah, anything that's like not so common can go in the back there, so that can be kind of differentiated that way. Uh, did I already put the acid glands in? Yeah, I did. I'm going to sort those over. Um, although, I probably have some fuzz that I could put in there at some point. So, that can go up here with the ant heads and the ant mandibles also aren't that common so we'll go ahead and put those all together in one spot okay so then we have our basic plant materials can go in here so that i can get more stuff and then we also have well i, I i've lost 10 arrows already damn i thought i had all of them i thought i got all my arrows back never mind um, and then this sap i guess can go right there with the rarer plant matter as well cool not bad and i got one more aphid left if i need to use it for cooking purposes, and I think I could just probably stuff it on there. There you go, now you have three three little aphids all in the line, look at that. Okay, so that's now produced up another one of these. Look at that. So then I can go ahead and add another one to this. See, and I can just keep getting, I can keep doing that over time. That's awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and dig another spot of clay. But for that we're going to have to go further afield and potentially fight some spiders. So yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be something. So let's head over here. And we're going to go through a slightly drier area of the map. So this is a little bit more dangerous because we have things like stink bugs, bombardier beetles, and a couple of other, couple of other little nasties over here. There's lots of mites around this area as well, so they can actually be quite useful. Uh, if you're looking for mite fuzz, then this is the area you want to come to. Uh, if we come over this way, I think there's actually a plank which has a load of spiders around it. So yeah, you want to avoid the plank because there's a wolf spider in there. We don't want to go in there. We want to go this way to where the fallen oak tree branch is over here. This has mites, but overall they're not too hard to kill. So if you do end up getting in a fight, it's not a problem. Like right here. Okay, come on. Okay, so I've got a few mites right here. Yeah, so the mites can kind of outnumber you sometimes. Okay, there's those two. Okay, these guys are going off this way, you will know. Okay. There you go, and kill that one. There you go. So yeah, these little mites aren't too hard to kill. And they're really trying to kill this weevil and just failing. There you go, Mr. Weevil. I saved you. There you go. The weevil has been saved. Okay. I think there's still another mite around here somewhere, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay. Oh, there you are. You're stuck in the ground, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and rip your face off. Okay, so yeah, we'll get some mite fuzz on the way, because that's actually useful for a lot of things. So we're definitely going to need it. Let's head down this way. So yeah, we're going to head down towards... There's like a hedge over here. We're going to head towards over this way. And actually, while I'm out here, I may as well... Um, I may as well, actually, while I'm out here, collect berry leather as well. Because that's going to be very handy for the, my tier 2 armor. Oh, lava! Okay, that's actually not so good. Okay, got it. Okay, come on, lavas. Okay. Yeah, lava are not too friendly to fight. Yeah, these guys um, have a bit of a bite attack on them, so... Okay, come on. 
Yeah, and they, they spawn in large groups as well. There's one. I get the lava blade from you. Thank you as well. Take a couple of lava there. Here comes the third one. Nice down recur a bit. Ow! Okay, got it. There you go, got him. Perfect block. Yeah, lava are kind of they kind of psych you out a bit. Okay, got it. There you go, got him. Okay, oh, he's, he's dodging. Okay, here we go. There you go, got him. And one more hit should finish him off. There you go. Two minutes. Got him. Yeah, lava are not nice to deal with. They are. They're actually. They actually hit quite hard, especially when you're unarmed, so yeah. Okay, here's some more clay, and let's go and kill this guy. Yeah, so you got to watch out for lava in this area. Tons of gnat spawn around here as well, so if you're ever short on gnat fuzz and need it, you can come to here, and you will encounter a buttload of gnats if you need to. Okay, so how much room have I got here? Yeah, i got enough room. And they, these also give you acid glands as well, um, so that's pretty good. But yeah, there's a load of clay over in this area. So let's go ahead and grab this one here. So you're now in like a little swamp area, which is pretty cool. And speaking of uh, being in a swamp area, I need water, but I know where there is some water that spawns around here, so that's not a problem. Someone only gave me three. I, it should give me one. There's four. There's five. Looks like the clay doesn't float in water anymore. They 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 made it so it floated in water, but I'm guessing they um I'm guessing they just decided to drop that feature. Okay, so yeah, that should be enough clay. I think we might need one more, and that should be all the clay we need for now. Let's go and see if I can find any around this area. Because usually this area has a little bit. Oh, there's another, there's another drink can over there. Okay, what's after me now? Lava. Oh yeah, those of them. Okay, they're kind of stuck here. That's good. Hang on. Okay, okay, you can still bite me through here. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh, he's right down the grass. Okay, now he's gonna get unstuck. Okay, will you stop biting me? Okay, here we go. Alright, he's out. Alright, the sim down. Okay, oh, we're taking a lot of damage here. There you go. Yeah, good thing we got this acorn armor. Definitely protecting us. If we didn't have armor, we'd have been dead by now. So yeah, these guys, like I said, these guys hit hard. Um, but this way, like smooth, he's like instant heal. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and just drink this and we'll eat and recover. Because we're low on food anyway, so I may as well just suffer with some. Uh, extra extra liquid loss and then we'll just eat the acorn bits to make it up okay there we go I have limits or I guess I thought I did let's go ahead and eat a few of those and there we go now I feel on hunger and thirst very nice all right so yeah I want to go to the hedge right here because over here there are berries that we need to we need to use and now the berries unfortunately you can't eat them yet which I kind of thought was a little bit silly but uh, yeah we can go ahead and get the berries to turn those into an armor component called berry leather and he says you're taking far too long I've not seen a single death in three hours well yeah we've done we don't we had some lucky escapes in this one usually I'm not quite so lucky this has just been a very lucky run so far okay so let's go and see over here so yeah we want to go into the hedge over here and this this whole thing is like a massive maze. It's, it's I love this biome. It's an amazing it's an amazing biome. And this this one got like a recent update. But yeah, literally you have to like climb through all the hedges to get around to different areas here, which is really cool. So what we what we're looking for is we're looking for hedge berries, and we're going to shoot them down with the bow, um, and then we can use those in order to get berry leather. So yeah, we're going to start venturing up the hedge and see what we can find. So let's go ahead and make our way up here and see if we can find any berries in the hedge. I don't know if any have spawned yet. It takes a few days for them to spawn initially. There's one. So we're going to just shoot. We're literally just going to go up and shoot down as many berries as we can. And look, we found the hedge ascent right there. And look, I see some raw science out there too. <laughs> okay. So there's an analyzer right here, which could mean I can analyze the clay. And I could also analyze the lava spikes as well. That's always a good one. And oh, I missed one clay. Never mind. Um, so Scruffy McGee, welcome to the stream. Says you kind of can eat berries, but it's three at a time in the form of goop smoothie. True. Yeah, you can you can make a you can make a bad smoothie out of it and just eat that. But yeah, I, w I wish they allowed you to eat berry chunks straight up um, because it w it would make sense, right? If you could just eat berry chunks as as is, right? Oh god. Okay, that that kind of hurt. <laughs> I jumped out the tree. 
Ow, ow, pain, leg pain, severe leg pain, ow. Okay, so we'll chop this up, and this gives you between three and four berry chunks, which is pretty good. So there we go, we get three of those, and that can be used to make, um, the skin of those berry chunks can be turned into berry leather, which is used for tier two armors. Currently our armor is a tier one armor, so acorn and grub is tier one, and then ladybug and spider are tier two, and is also a tier one armor as well, um, if you are that way inclined, but to be honest, I never really go for ant armor, I, I don't know, I just... Never found, never found ant armor that good. Um, it, it doesn't really benefit you more than the other two armors, for combat at least. It's good though for later game when you want to build. That's when it's really good. So there's some raw science right there. Okay, but yeah, we're not going to be exploring the whole hedge area and going to the secret at the end of it for now. We're just going to be going ahead and harvesting berries while I'm in. It just because it's like, you know, I'm in the area, so I may as well do it. There's an apricot puncho right there. Very nice. So that's going to be uh, another drink source if we need it. But yeah, unfortunately it's getting a little bit dark now, so that's kind of a, a concern. Hmm. And I'm not really seeing many berries at the moment. Maybe they slowed down how many spawn. There's one over there. There's two over here, actually. One. Two, so we're just going to shoot... Oh wait, there's three. Look at that. Hopefully this is... No one cause my game to crash, because I've noticed sometimes the games do crash when you shoot down the berries, for some reason. There you go, so knock these guys down. See if I can see any others around the area. Okay, so where do I go from here? Uh, down this way. Okay, so this is going to lead me to the puncho. Yeah, I'm going to go through the, 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 the hedge a little bit, but not like extensively. Just so I can get the berries, that's all I want. That's all I ever wanted was the berries. Okay. Oh, there's a spidling somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Okay, these guys are buggers, but... Easy to kill. Oh, okay, this one's attacking me. Got it. Okay, oh, you missed. Gotcha. Aha! And these guys give you web fiber as well. You can get a ton of web fiber from up here. So if you're ever short on web fiber, just come to the hedge. Uh, you will get so much more of it than you can even deal with. Which is very awesome. Um, okay. So she says, don't fall. No, actually do fall. Berry to your right. I'm seeing loads of berries. So there's two right in front of you, Blue. Okay, so yeah, there, there is a few. It's, it's quite hard for me to make them out. Let's see. I'm sure there is a load. I'm sure there is a load back there that I've missed. Yeah, I, I see you some over there, actually. I wonder if I can get this one. Not quite. Yeah, those berries are really far. Yeah, there's there's some over there, but they're quite far away. When it's daytime, it's a lot easier to see. When it's like afternoon, nighttime, there it just becomes very difficult. Let's see, there's a berry right there, so knock that guy out. There you go. So, yeah, some, some of them spawn quite close. Okay, so let's see if I can see any more around this area. It doesn't matter if I don't get all the berries because it's um it's not too bad if we don't. Okay, there's a, oh there's a berry right there. Let's go ahead and get that guy down. Boom. There you go. He's out. Okay, I'm going to save my game real quick here as well, because it ten this there tends to crash the game. Um, so let's go ahead and just save that right there. So yeah, I'm just going to save it so that we don't crash, and then we should be good. Okay, so now we're coming to the puncho box. So any other berries around this area? Not really over there. Okay, let's drop it down here. Alright, so I need to come around the front of the puncho. Oh, there's a zipline over here as well, that's awesome. Yeah, ziplines are a new feature added in this most recent version, and it'll let you zip through the hedge and have a really good time doing it. So yeah, that's always good. But yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be exploring too much here. i just come for the berries. But yeah, we're going to zip on down here. I see a berry in the distance, I looks like. That's either a berry or another zipline. Okay, oh, there's another spidling. Okay, here he is. Got him. Okay, so that spiderling's out. Yeah, usually I find a lot more berries, but that's because I'm here during the day. Uh, says, uh, and Tia says, uh, oh yeah, yeah, because you're a blind bugger. Yeah, true. That's the, that's the, ain't that the truth. Um, okay, so let's see, is there any more around here? No more around this area. There's one there. And there's one there. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of uh, close by ones here. That's good. I, I have to say, I love the music for this part of the, the game as well. The, the hedge biome has, like, in my opinion, the best music in the game. Okay. Any more? There's one there. Straight in front of me. Knock him out. Okay, so there's a couple more web sacks there. Again, if we want to play uh, a dice with death game, we can do those. There's no one there. If I can get that guy. Not quite lower. 
No. No, okay, I gotta get closer to that one before I can get it. Oh, no! I'm dead. Oh, I just lived. I just lived. Okay. I mean, this is Smoothie to heal. Smoothie to heal. Okay. So my arrows are falling out the tree. Okay, there we go. Whew! That was lucky. Okay, so for example, when you read my comment, there was one right in front of you. <laughs> I'm sure there was, yeah. Okay. Let's get the torch back on me because I need it so I can chop these berries up and see where they are. So, where is my torch? Oh, don't tell me it ran out. Where did it run out? Ah, oh, I think it probably did. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing my torch. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it did run out of durability. Okay. Well, then that's fine. I'll find whatever berries I can in the dark. I guess I'll try and make a small lean-to around here as well. Right, there's spiders up here as well, so I've got to be careful. There's one, like, right there. Right, let's go and get this thing out of the way. There you go. And for some reason, when you hit a berry, it makes a splash noise. No idea. No idea why. It's like a squelchy noise and then like a splash noise, and I have no idea why it does that. Okay, grab that. Okay. Do I dare go and try and get this one? Yes, do it. Okay, man, yeah, I, uh... And you, you know why I survived as well? Because I have the uncrackable perk with the acorn armor. Which I believe... As far as I'm aware, that stops you from dying to full damage. If you're at full health, it will stop you dying for full damage. Okay, let's get out of here. I'll come back in the day. I need to go and make a, like, a lean-to over here and sleep for the night. Tia says, and says, no, you should have died. So and Tia says, number five. Uh, there you go. All right, so let's come out here. Yeah, let's go and get some stuff to make a lean-to real quick. Um, and I want to sleep the night, so it's just going to be easier in the morning to come back and see what's going on in the hedge because yeah when, when, when it's daytime it's a lot easier to see what's in there because for some reason like when you go into that area the whole area like it looks kind of bright from here but when you go in like the lighting just darkens it for some reason it's a little bit weird and i'm not sure why but yeah it's a lot easier to see in the day so and you guys are like well yes of course it's a lot easier to see in the day there is uh you know the sun makes it easy right yes we are not taught science <laughs> The sun produces light. I'm like, nope, definitely not taught any sides. Not me. Okay, let's build a lean to here. Um, and then we should be able to make this work. Wait, nope, I need to left click, not right click. There you go. And then hopefully I can sleep pretty soon. Yep, pretty much right on the money. Hey, Look at that. I'm going to fall asleep standing up if we go much longer. He says, uh, loud, loud as as I'm saying nothing. Nah, I don't blame you, dude. <laughs> no, no, I should be like, good, say nothing. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and okay. I need to eat, but yeah, I know I know for a fact actually there's some there's some granola bars in the um in the hedge that we can eat, so that's fine. I'll drink this dirty water for now, just so I don't. I have smoothies, but they don't really refill that much water, unfortunately. I think I'm hungry. Now we'll eat one of those to stop me from dying to hunger, and then we're gonna run back to the hedge. Yeah, now as you can see, now it's a lot easier to see in here, so so it's a lot, lot nicer. Let's try and get some of our arrows back as well. And let's go and get these. Here we go. One, two, three, and there's one over here. Very good. So just chop these guys up. Hey, give me that. Yeah, sometimes they even give you four pieces as well, which is really nice. When they give you four, it's like a little bonus. It's like, yeah! Okay. Three there. Let's cover my arrows here. Right, is there any more? Yeah, I hear some more weavers. I kind of want to stay out that way. Okay, so now we're back to the ascent. Um, okay, yeah, but yeah, that, as you can see now, it's now it's daytime. It's like it's a little bit a little bit misty in the day, but it's quite easy to see now. So that's a good thing. So yeah, I honestly thought I had a torch there. I was thinking, yeah, I'll be fine. I have a torch, so it's all good. Okay, let's go back this way then. So yeah, we've got to go kind of back through here. And let's grab these granola bars on the side here, which are very nice, and I can just eat these. Yeah, that'll give me up to full hunger. Consume two of them, full hunger. Look at that. Yeah, granola, granola bars are a very nice, uh, very nice, very handy food item. Okay, so let's go and make our way back around. I wonder if there's any on the end of these branches here. This is where I found the raw science. No, not seeing any of that. There's one right there. That's probably the one TS earlier. There you go. Get that one down. 
See, it's below me, and there we go. It says, uh, no, I can't hurt your little feelings. <laughs> All right. <laughs> little feelings? How dare you? My feelings are big and ballsy. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Um, right, so now... Let's see, is there any around this area? See, at least we kill all the spiderlings in this area, so we don't really have to worry about those. Unless, of course, they respawned, which sometimes they do. I've literally been, like, through the hedge once, and then come back, like, ten in-game minutes later, and they've been back. And I've been like, really? <laughs> they've been back, like, screeching at me, trying to nip my face off, and I'm just like, oh, okay. So let's go out this way, then. Okay, there's a berry right there. Get that guy down. Thank you. Thank you for your contributions to the Foxy Fund. I shall be there to collect the debt shortly. Okay, come up here. Anything up this way? Not really seeing anything over this way. Okay. So currently get progressed that way, but we can come this way next. And then go under here. Back to the fungus. And then we can just climb up here, I guess. Okay, don't fall. Oh, God. Oh, no, okay, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh, boy. Okay, this, this was not meant to happen. Okay, uh, hang on. Jump. Please let me jump on, on here. Oh, okay. There we go. We did it. Okay. So, I guess I can't get up this way. Okay. I'm, I can't jump quite high enough to do that. Okay. So, do I go up here? Oh! No! Ouch. Whew! At least it's clean. Thank God for the uncrackable buff. There you go. So there's two on the floor, simpleton. Okay. Well, let's get these ones. There you go. There's some here, and there's one here. I see some more over there as well. Okay, yeah, I, I should I should really get the dandelion tuft to stop me falling so much, but there you go. Let's just get everything I can here. There's one there, and one here. Go okay, over here. It's a pebblet. I'm not worried about pebblets. Okay, let's go over this way. Okay, there's these ones. Okay, come over this way. Just let that liquid there. Okay, so there's some down here. We should probably be able to get some from under the hedge as well, so it's not so bad. There's one over here. Yeah, so all these we've knocked down now, which is nice. Oh, they actually stacked up on top of each other perfectly. Look at that. <laughs> it's like FFS. <laughs> He's like, why aren't you dying? Okay. All right, I'll tell you what then. I, I'll, I'll, I'll have a deal with you then. I'll fight. I'll fight an old weaver. All right, I'll make, I'll make you feel better. I'll fight an old weaver and see if I die. That that has more of a chance of killing me. Yeah, my my headgear is actually not looking in too good shape right now, is it? So that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, okay, let's go in. Crack that one open. Very good. Yeah, I'll, I'll find Noel Weaver and I'll fight it for you. Maybe that maybe that'll make you feel better. Because yeah, I'll I'll take some. I might take some more serious damage by doing so. Okay, yeah, I don't see anything over here. So yeah, let's go over here. Find an Noel Weaver. And we'll just fight it for TS, and maybe I'll die to that. And then he'll feel better if I get killed by a spider. TS says, now nah, I'll let you off today. You know what, though? I think we're actually in a position where I can fight the old weavers. Let's go and see. Yeah, there's one. Oh, he's asleep. Okay. I can get, I can get some snake damage with him. Boom. Hey. Okay, where's he going? Okay. Oh, he's running away. He's running away. Okay, this guy... Okay, gotcha. Got it. Okay, there we go. He missed his bites. There we go, got him. Go on then. Right, come here. Maybe I can stun him. Yes, got a son. Nice, come on it. Okay. Oh he's running, he's running. Where are you going? Well, yeah, I don't think you can get to me, mate. There you go. Fine, I'll, uh, I'll shoot you. Yeah, he's, he's not liking these areas. Oh, there's a spider right there. Hang on. Right, kill his baby. It's like, you killed my baby! There you go. Don't you dare sleep and recover health. There you go. You're mine now. Right, one, two, three. Oh! Okay, block that attack. Okay. Got him! Haha! One all weaver down. 
And uh, D one six B, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Or is that? Or do I? Or do I say Digby? How do I? How do I play that one? Uh, it says fix your arm first, says TS. <laughs> uh, as you do it so well by not dying. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there you go. This says club's gonna break too. Yeah, the club's almost out. But yeah, we, we managed to get that guy out. That was, that was a pretty good fight. So we got hit a couple of times right right towards the end. But other than that, we we're doing pretty good on the perfect blocks. So that's not too. That's not too bad. So how you doing? Um, how you doing, Digby? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for popping in, by the way. All right, let's go ahead and grab our arrows back. Let's get these guys. Yeah, when, when I do kill a wolf spider as well, I also have the option to make the tier two bow, which is much better. It does like three times the amount of damage, which is nice. Okay, give me, give me that. Thank you. Okay, let's come up here. Where is any more abuse? I can always fight them with the the axe and the and the bow as well. Okay, let's come over here real quick. So there's some spiderwebs around here as well, and some web sacks too. Which is very handy. Okay, yeah, I think an orb would like to kind of hang out in this area too. Let's have a little look around. Could have sworn I heard another one. Hmm. Is that one right, is that one right over there? Yeah. Oh, look, there's a, a, a broken piece of the hedge lab over there as well. Okay, I won't explore that in this episode because, like I said, I'm not really here to get that, but. I'll, I'll definitely go ahead and grab some stuff from these web sacks if there's anything in them, and I'll go ahead and chop these webs up as well, so we can get them there. Uh, it says, I guess you don't remember me from YouTube uh, when you only played seven days. Um, honestly, I'll be very honest with you, the, the name the name does not ring a bell. If you if you if, if you're under a different um, I don't know, are you on the same one or a different name? If you're under a different one, then of course it wouldn't ring a bell. <laughs> uh, Tia says, I've had so much sleep, I still feel tired, and I gotta go at four thirty to figure out the to pick the girlfriend up. <laughs> Well, I guess you could always always rest some more, dude. Oh, and it's uh, yeah, Dig pronounced Digby. Okay. Okay. Well, it, it also has been like a really long time since I streamed. So what do we have here? We have Natfuzz from there. Not really interested in that. Okay. Anything in this one? Yeah. So sometimes they like give you bonus items, and other times they spawn an enemy on you. It's kind of a, a game of chance. Although my inventory is full right now because I'm now full of spider parts. Let me consume this. Okay. Anything in this one? Uh, nope, nothing in that one. That sucks. Give something good, come on. Oh, spider links. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Ouch! Okay, okay, now I got spider links. I've released the babies. Okay, this isn't good. Okay, come on, you. There you go. Nice. Okay, spilings are out. Okay, so I didn't really get anything good from those. Sometimes you can get really good stuff from those, and other times not. So, uh, and he says the name was Digby. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Honestly, it's been so long <laughs> since I've been streaming and stuff. But yeah, oh, I feel really bad now. I'm so sorry, dude. Um, Tia says if I go to sleep now, I won't wake up later, and then I'll either get a punch or kick in the nuts, or just get ignored for a week. She's already ignoring me for the last few days, and no idea why. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Br bring her up on it. I mean, I mean, come on, be like, it's not. It ain't gonna work out if she's just gonna ignore you for for, and, and you don't know why. You know what I mean? I don't. Did, did you miss like her birthday or like you know? Do you guys do like an anniversary things and like every? Do you guys do like things every month or something like that? Did you maybe miss one of those? I don't know. I'm, I'm just I'm just ha just having a guess. Um, let me see. Let's go down here. Right, is there any more berries I can get, or is that pretty much all I'm going to get? I, how many have I got? I've got 10, 20, 30, 41. Okay. That's going to be enough for tier 2 armor, I think. Uh, yeah, that'll be enough berry leather for now. And I've got all the clay I need, so yeah. That should be all good. <laughs> and it says, uh, nope, and nope. Oh, okay, so no... Uh, no little things to kind of be mindful of there, then. Uh, yeah, then I, then I don't know. Then it's one of those things. Ladies can be rather mysterious sometimes. You can annoy them, and you wouldn't have any idea. Then you find out only months later that yes, that was annoying. And I'm like, wait, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go this way. Oh wait, this is wolf spider territory, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't good. Um, let's just let's just run and hope we don't run into a wolf spider. Who's currently still on the hunt? I'm sure. I'm sure we will. Um, let's see. She she has weird random moments, and also my phone's been playing up lately. So I'm hoping it's just my phone. Says uh, and he says, yeah, I know that one. <laughs> 
Yeah, la ladies can be mysterious creatures. Oh, there's uh, the yoked guard head over there. That, that There's a wolf spider den right in here. So there's some raw signs in there. But it's only 100 raw signs. It's not worth it. <laughs> not worth trying to fight a wolf spider at this point to get 100 raw signs. Plus, you don't have any room or energy anyway. So, yeah, just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to try that at the moment. Uh, let's see, Tia says, uh, been seeing each other since March. Uh, lockdown hell things up. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine yeah, the whole the whole lockdown thing. Yeah, that's never fun. Yeah, lo lockdown is never fun, but there you go. It's uh, just something we have to deal with, I guess. And just do, do, do our best to put up with until this whole thing passes. But that's the thing, it's just like, people are silly. They're just like, oh, we don't, we don't want a lockdown. And then it's like, well, then you spread everything to everyone. And then, then everyone has to suffer longer because people wanted to be selfish. <laughs> it's just like, okay, why, could, why couldn't you have just, you know, if, if everyone just stopped what they were doing for a month, it would have it would have been all over. And that would have been so much simpler than having to lock down for like, I don't know, how, how long has this been going now? It's nearly a year now, right, since the first case of COVID we're seeing were, were coming in. It's, it's been a really long time. I know that. Okay, let's go back to our little base over here. And let's go ahead and come inside. Yes, let's go ahead and come inside. And let's see, let's go and drop some stuff off now. Oh yeah, first thing I'm going to do is craft the berry leather. So that's going to now be under here, and we can craft this stuff. Here we go, that is berry leather. And this is a tier 2 armor piece. So we definitely want to go ahead and get all this stuff here. Because we're going to need a lot of this. So, let's go ahead and get all that stuff done. And yeah, that gives you access to the spider shoulder guards, super armor glue, lots of stuff it gives you access to, which is really nice. So we're going to have to analyze this in the berry chunks. And the spider chunks too, we got actually a couple of items to analyze. Actually, wait, I can go ahead and add the clay to these while I'm here. Okay, that one's done, and that one's done. Let me get the, the crew groups off of these, and start these off. Okay, get that machine working, and then get the machine working as well. There you go, now you have two things producing crew groups for us, look at that. So yeah, we're almost done here, so literally that just needs ant parts. Um, yeah, so I need five more ant parts and a bit more sap, and then all these machines are going to be done, guys. And that's going to be very, very cool. So yeah, overall, we've done pretty well here. Like, overall. I'm, I'm quite happy with how we've done. Um, right, so let's go into the analyzer then, and we're going to see what we can do with these. So we got a few things to analyze. We got the berry leather, which I'm assuming is going to open up the armor stuff. Oh no, that's the insect hammer. Okay, that's fine. And then we've also got the spider chunk. And that gives me spider armor, I'm guessing? Yeah, spider hood and spider knee pads and an orb weaver head mount. And then we also have the regular berries, which I think is just for decoration. And Tia says, the stream lagging a tad. Stream lagging a tad? Hang on a second. Let me uh, let me just double check what's going on. Um, looks okay-ish to me. Not too bad. But yeah, it might be it might be a little bit laggy. It just depends. I've I've been uploading a lot, so yeah, it's probably probably because of that. But yeah, I mean, in either way, we're just, we're about to end off anyway. Oh, there's a crow feather. I can uh, harvest that later on for making better arrows. Uh, you only get one feather piece out of it though, which is kind of sucky. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and make it up here then. And yeah, I still need to get some ant parts and stuff. But for right now. I think we're gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off, guys, because it's very, very late for me right now, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pretty much be going to bed soon because it's like, yeah, it's it's in um in Texas time right now. It's three in the morning, so there is uh there is that. Um, let's see. one of those, one of those, one of those. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, what's this? That is clay. Okay, clay can go in with my pebbles then. I can just keep those together so I get a little bit spare. I will need to go and repair some stuff, but that's fine. And plant fibers can go in this box here with the others, and so can the clay there. There we go. So clay there, plant fiber can all go together. That's pretty much my inventory kind of sorted out and ready to go. Do need to repair my um, acorn mask, but yeah, in the next episode though, I guess we're going to go ahead and try and kill the ladybugs to get the tier 2 ladybug armor. So yeah, that's why I was looking for flower petals, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting access to those anytime soon. But yeah, look, we now have a couple of spinning wheels on the go, and yeah, overall, that is really cool. So yeah, and we got some berry leather, so we, we got one of the three ingredients needed to start making the next tier of armor. And then after that, we can go ahead and start taking on the tougher bugs and looking at getting the next tier of weapons as well. And that's going to be really, really nice if we can do that. Uh, Tia says, uh, I got some model on Facebook trying to chat me up. Says she lives in London too. <laughs> uh, oh, the place, the, the place is horribly high rent. Yeah, <laughs> you should be like, nah, I've heard what the rent's like over there. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not buying. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> okay, let's go and put this away. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. Oh, we did have a torch. It was right over here. <sighs> of course, of course. That now I find the torch. Right now I find it. But there you go. All right, guys. Well, yeah, I think at this point we're a pretty good point to go ahead and end off the stream. So you know, what? I'm gonna go and quickly see who is online, and maybe we can do a raid because I haven't done a raid in a while. Um, so yeah, I definitely think I need to be. Uh, I definitely think I need to be doing that. Because, yeah, raid, raiding is fun. So let me see. Who is currently online? We have... Yeah, you know what? We'll go, we'll go raid Tamer Rai. Why not? Let's go and... Uh, there we go. Let's see. Um, so, uh, going, uh, why, is, why is my chat giving me my own chat rules? I have no idea. Uh, Tia says... Uh, it says, it says, it says uh, nice top in the nuts. Oh, God, Tia. Uh, okay. So, um, I think it's... Is it Slash Rose or Exclamation Mark? It's been so long since I did this. Um... I think that's the um, I think that's the thing you gotta do. So it's gonna be raid and then tamer raid. Right I think is that how I do it? Is it this or is it slash raid? I can't remember. Um, no, I think it's slash raid. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> let's try the slash raid then uh, and see if that wants to work for me. Uh, the channel is intended for majority of the use rage team. Right. Okay. There we go. And off we go. So we are ready to go ahead and start the raid. So let's go ahead and raid Tame Ryan and say hi to her when we get over there. Thank you so much, guys, for coming along. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of The Ground. It finally got back into streaming again. And I will see you guys um, another time. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, actually, my, uh, my mic turned off. Bye bye, Let me come back to this one. There we go. So, thank you guys so much for watching and coming to the stream. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, until then, bye.